Hello guys! We made it! Finally back! A new stream, new day! The Sunday grind! Let's go! Had to fix a couple of last minute settings, so had to start one or two minutes later, but I hope it's fine for you. Also, if you missed it, remember I've created a new Discord. Uh, let's all gather up there. So you have the link in the description, in the top uh, of the description. So just press it there and you can have the invite link there. Whew. A lot to do this weekend. Just came back basically home and right back on the stream. Uh, we're gonna play uh, 25NL, uh, not Russian cash, but regular tables. As always, and try to have a real good session so we can go to 50NL as soon as possible. Uh, if you missed last uh, results or want a little bit of a reminder, let's look at the graph last session. And we can look at the month and everything. Just a couple of minutes. Oh, it's just loading one second. There we go. Just gonna see the right settings are here. Hero, very good. Yesterday, let me do this. Select date, since date. Yeah, this is good. So last time we played was a Thursday. <clears throat> uh, this is the, the Thursday graph. So we won 1.75 buy-ins. Uh, ended the session after about... How much did we play? I have the... I have the times here. <clears throat> I think we played for two and a half hours. Uh, last sessions. Last session. Let me see. I have all it. Yeah, two and a half hours. We won $43. Almost $44. And uh, then if we just add one session at a time. So with the session before that. Here's the graph. That's another three and a half, half hours of poker, right here. And then the session before that. That's another three hours of poker. And then the session before that was uh, Sunday. Yeah, that's another... Uh, that's just one hour of poker, actually. Yeah, so we played tournaments last Sunday and we added one hour of cash games in the end. So this is um, basically, let me see, one, uh, so six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine and a half hours, guys. So this is the last nine and a half hours. It's exactly 9.5 binds, you know, so basically one buy-in per hour. <laughs> Uh, almost 18 big blinds per hundred. So yeah, we we're climbing back there. Uh, we're still uh, I think to buy in some review this month or something. So it's not quite enough to to go back to the all-in equity But it's okay. We're gonna get there uh, So we need to win around uh, I think we're gonna go to 50 NL when we have the bankroll at uh, Yeah, around 18 1900 so something like that so four five hundred more dollars uh, you know, so we still need uh, to win a few more binds. Actually, it's like, let's say $400. So let's take uh, starter shots with $400 divided by 25. So yeah, 16 more binds, something like that around there. So I'm just going to fix one more thing and then we're ready to go. So just 10 seconds. There we go, and here we go. All right. So I'm gonna start the uh, session timer <clears throat> as soon as we join the table. And that is right now. Here we go. Mm. 
All right, starting the tables, guys. We're gonna have a nice, nice ses session today. Stream number 29, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. <clears throat> no mercy, no mercy today. Feels weird when you haven't played poker for like three days. Uh, start off with uh, trips, second kicker. Lose against 10-9. Uh, Ace, 10, and nines. Just gonna call. <clears throat> he, he just has 4.2 big blinds. Also, I didn't see it. Of course, I would have shot. He can have over pair still and ace queen. Ace king, yeah. Same. Same, same. Yeah, so the turn doesn't matter. He's still gonna stack off the last, the last one, you know? All right. Won the first hand. Uh, so we're gonna cash out now and go home. <laughs> not, not really, right? <clears throat> Let's change this. Uh, there we go. Greetings from Finland. Uh, hello, man. Welcome to the stream. Greetings from Stockholm, Sweden. Nice to have you here, man. Viljami Yenti. <clears throat> uh, gonna do just a... F no, he's, uh, I didn't see his stack. So he has uh, 30 big blinds in total. We get 8 blind versus blind. And uh, let's hold. Never. Never, 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 never. Never, never, never. Nice uh, flop. Come on, out, one out. Doubling up the fishes. Doubling up the fishes. Uh, we're gonna go small again. So we went 30%. Uh, we go 30% again. Versus fish. What can we do, guys? What can we do? Just sponsoring the fishes. <clears throat> Just sponsoring the fishes. I uh, got three bet here, of course. I mean, it's not of course, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Uh, we're all in, of course. I mean, it's not of course, but... In this case, it actually was, because he only has like 18 big blinds left. Uh, this is some kind of nit, we're just gonna call and then fold basically every turn. Imagine he checks back 10s, or... Queen Jack. Queen Jack or 10s, 9s. Not evens. He... I... 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 That's... You... Ah... Uh, eh, uh, oh... You understand the nit, so... 30% in a good sex so hug with the gears. It's so bad. I can't. He's not even trying. He's not even. He's just. No, I don't have anything on uh, on on turn. Let's snap check back with seven high. When you gonna make me? F I'm gonna fold second pair there. He doesn't understand the bit. The shivers immediately. Get king here with three bet in position, and they just call. We get set. Blah blah blah. So he can have ace. The best hands he can have is ace ten and tens. In my opinion, he's not gonna fold like ace queen. Uh, I think I should go big actually here. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can go. I can at least go half maybe. <clears throat> just raise me with tens and let's go. I'm just gonna stack off if he raises. I swear to God. I swear to God. If he raises, that's so strong. But they never do. Nines have nines. Have ten nines suited. I think I'm gonna do this because now I think he can start and shove maybe. If he has like combo draws also. I mean, Queen Jack was already not the nuts. We're just gonna stack off, guys. Just stack off with two pair. Never, never, never. Never the cooler. Never. They're so weak, it's insane. You see how they play the three bet pots when they're weak? They check tank, call one small on the wet board, and then just check fold. And then when they have the nuts, which 
it's very rarely, but when they do, they just check raise their out of position. Super strong line to do out of position in a big pot. They just want to get it in. They're not even ashamed, guys. <coughs> not even ashamed. Uh, and Fisk, and Fisk, maybe you Swedish. Uh, are the withdrawal smooth for a Swedish account? I haven't withdrawn from uh, uh, GG yet. I wouldn't know, but I suppose it should be. I mean, there were no problems getting in the money with uh, with Luxon Pay. I've I've tried uh, withdraw from my Luxon Pay account. It went good, so it should be good going from withdraw to GG to look some pay. I mean, that step should be also, you know, quite easy. Uh, we three-batted the ace. We squeezed the ace five suited, took it down here. Harmin uh, says, good luck. Thank you so much, man or girl. Welcome to the stream. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna three-bet nines over here. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna fold here. Back here. I uh, get queens in bottom left. Gonna show it soon if he calls. Uh, we're opening uh, blind versus blind. Get top set. I'm gonna check raise this rather. And we get the folds with nines here. So back to queens. He checks back. I have to check again because usually they stab that jack or even like a yeah super fast. Also, I'm, I'm just waiting for that signal. And then we just do this, and he's never gonna understand. And if he has sevens, you know. Uh, I'm protecting my... It doesn't really matter, this river, so I think I just... They're so capped. He can still have top pair and bad top pairs. Even if I block it, it doesn't matter. He still has bad top pair. They're so obvious. That's why you double check, guys. Because they... You see how strong... Again, I'm starting the day by saying this. I've said it a hundred times. How strong the snap check back and then the snap three quarters on turn is it's always a weak top pair that they want to pot control they think they're tr so obvious snap x back mid top pair snap three quarter turn call x rays hero i mean come on guys it's so obvious it's so obvious uh, and i didn't want to win like seven more big blends. i wanted it all so he's not gonna bluff anyway here so you know whatever the Crocker Woo Sunday stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nom, nom, nom. This is premium mm, premium stuff. The nuts. The nut stream, guys. This is the nuts. <clears throat> and with this little Western uh, mystic music. Da -da -dum. Da -da. Getting kings here again. Uh, so I'm just going to fish mark this guy I think he's some kind of fish I mean he could still be good in these stakes versus the other people but he's he's just a fish to me I'm just gonna squeeze big I'm not gonna go too fast <coughs> I mean, this is not big actually in GTO wise it's it's maybe even small I mean it's good it's perfect I think but in the, these stakes since population usually uh, goes much smaller uh, we flopped a straight here, blind versus blind versus a min open. He checks, he's never gonna have anything. I think we check back this time. Uh, we take it down here with kings. Uh, here we three bet uh, nines versus uh, button. Uh, he checks again, he's not gonna have anything. I can go like 1.3 maybe. And snap fold. So I'm trying, I, I know, I just know they don't have anything when they take that. I'm really trying to make them hit something. When the four pairs, it doesn't change anything. But I, I, I need to get value. I need to do something now. He's never gonna. He's gonna f overfold so much. But you know. But you know, guys, what can I do? They're just telling me what they have every time. <coughs> uh, let's see. Are there any problems? Ace says, uh, "Poker says, morning, uh, bro. Your stream is very blurry." And. Can someone confirm that? I have my stream here also. It looks fine. And here it looks fine on this YouTube page. It looks fine, man. Uh, double check if uh, the settings, if you have it to the highest quality. Maybe something happened there. Uh, 
we're gonna continue here, of course. I think we don't have to go big. Uh, here I'm just uh, getting it in, basically, versus the short stack. Uh, he snap raises here. Uh, I have to call, I think, even because I have the the. I'm gonna fold, of course, every river, but he's not gonna bluff. But he's not gonna. He doesn't care. He can still have a flush and do this. So we we're running to the 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 nine, the twelve big blinds, uh, aces versus queens. Is that nice, guys? As always, it's the only way. So they have fifteen big blinds in total pre. They give me queens. He has aces. I'm. What can I do? And then I get this fish who just raised uh, and just I. I here we go, guys. Here we go. Claudio Drogomir. Uh, oh, you also wrote, did you make any changes regarding live video? Image is a little bit blurry. Hmm. Okay, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna... I haven't done anything, actually. Let me see one thing. No, this is at maximum. One second. Second. What? Is it really? Let me see here. Guys, uh, where I'm looking, it, it it's looking... Let me see, full screen. I swear to God it looks good on every... Let me try on the phone here also. Uh, getting min clicked, small. I, I actually just want to punish him. He's a bit loser. He can still have five circles, but I'm gonna have. Uh, I mean, if he calls here or raises, uh, we're just snap folding. So let's see the guy with uh, that's winning every hand, etc. If he can lose one hand, he's getting the own. Yeah, yeah, it, it's just too obvious. So min click, EPF fold, three bets. It's so obvious what he's what he's doing. It's so insane. Uh, I need more uh, more uh, feedback from that. Uh, try something, uh, refresh it one time or something. And uh, also you other guys, do you have problems with the stream? I mean, of course, it's two people said it's something has happened somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna call top pair here at the bottom left. Uh, I'm gonna call here. Uh, just checking back here, so... They both check down here with Jack High. Um, you see all the tables here. I, I have action in three tables, so I, I think I'm gonna call, but he can still slow play aces like this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because the timing is too fast. He's too confident in the check. It's so obvious what he's doing. So, 3 by oop, ah, uh -uh, 30%. Snap, X log, snap. It's so confident. I don't want to hear anymore. I'm not gonna hero. But he checked. But no, he's trapping with aces. I'm telling you. I'm literally telling you. I told you there. He has aces. He can still do it with aces. Because the snap three quarters. Ugh, I get shivers. I get shivers. I get shivers. The croaker says uh, no blur here. Yeah, guys. I mean, uh, try and. Uh, try and, uh, you know, restart. Uh, here we're just gonna try and get it in. And here with 3-bet in position, we go half, he calls, we're gonna go for it all the way. Uh, he just jams there, so he has the ace, king, and aces. Uh, he folded here. Uh, I can't, no, sorry, sorry, I, 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 I can't do this, I can't do this. I've told you every time. I run queens into aces, I did here, did it here, but here, did it there, I'm telling their hands, it doesn't matter. I get two pair flop, he just jams. The queens, when I check race, he just jams it in position. It's so fucking boring, seriously, it's so fucking boring. It's so fucking, how can you win? How can you literally win? They only get the money in when it's the only way. It's the cooler, it's the cooler situation. It's the only way. It's the only way. It's the only way. So boring. It literally is so boring. Here I value bet one big man the river. He checked called with the ace high because he's on they're so bad I can't describe. Uh Claudio says, uh you're right, it might be YouTube problem. Just quit the stream and came back. It's perfect. Yeah, so everybody, if you have the blur problem or something, restart YouTube. Refresh it again. It should be fine. It's fine everywhere I've looked. 
Uh, right? So always try the, the restart and refresh first. Jesus Christ, it's so insane. It's literally... They, why do they give me king for queen when they have queens? Every time I have a two pair, it's never good. I should just shove here queens probably because it's done it. I should probably just shove. I'm gonna shove here. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm shoving. Shoving. Uh, this guy's gonna come back, call like fives and stuff. Yeah, he doesn't care. Let us let me see. I have queens. He has king six. He has three outs. Hold. I can't, guys. Sorry. Sorry, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I already see where this is going. So we're gonna have a real short string because I, I'm... I'm, as I've said now for 100 years, uh, I have to just, yeah, give him the give him the flash draw, give him the flash draw just in case, just give him the flash draw just in case. Jesus, I can't, guys, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm gonna move up stakes and play real poker or something because uh, I I can't be be here forever. I just can't take it. It's too low. It's I I it's so it's demotivating when you have the nuts every time and. Uh, doesn't really matter then. It doesn't really matter. We're just gonna go for it all the way. So this guy has over pairs and the worst sixes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Harmin. Uh, also for the Twitch that you found me on Twitch. Uh, we're gonna go for it. It doesn't matter. We're gonna shove. You can still have over pairs. And here we go for value. They're both tanking. I'm gonna show the action when they do something. So he has the overpair. Uh, it's unfortunate river, of course. Just hero. You hear me with Jax here every day. He folded here. Uh, also waiting here. He has overpair. He has overpair. I think if he has six on the turn, he's just gonna check raise all in. He's thinking with an overpair. They're not bluffing, I'm telling you, because he went big on the flop. He has overpair, yeah. Even... Oh. He, oh. Oh. So he j bets hard with the bad gut shot and five high. Gets the turn. Con he's really loose. Really lo He's gonna get aggro mark, actually. He hears because he blocks. He doesn't understand that those two pair blockers doesn't really matter, actually. He doesn't... I don't think he understands that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Timon Azanger. Or Azanger. Timon. For the subscribe. Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, they don't understand that actually to block this full house, it doesn't matter. I don't have fours and fives like this. Basically, I am going to have it some, some rare time where I check raise, uh, where I raise in position fours really rarely, but uh, I don't think I, I, I rather call with other, I rather call with jacks and a heart and something like that. If I have like queen X of hearts, uh, jack X of hearts, sorry. I rather block that. Here, I'm just going one big blind. Uh, I don't think these blocker matters. It's just my, uh, you know. I, I rather block something with a... S Actually, yeah, yeah. So he blocks one, five, six. But does he really? No, he doesn't because I, I it's five, six of spade. He doesn't even block the five, six. It's only if I defend the five, six offsuit, of course. So his five is also basically irrelevant. Four, six suited. Yeah, basically he block. No, he blocks my bluff. My four, oh, I, I, you know, guys, we can't speak about this forever, but I don't think it's super good. Uh, but I'm glad uh, we finally got a hero call. <coughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, just uh, getting premiums on flop, uh, losing against the better premiums, and then we just uh, outplay them in, in the normal, where you have spots when you have to use the brain. It's uh, normal. Uh, here is versus a guy that this is the uh, kind of reg. He just bets when he has it. Uh, he never bluffs. The blue mark means he's never bluffs post, but he he's always here in these stakes. Twenty-seven yaro. He's some kind of reg, but he's extremely bad and only bets value. So he the blue mark is extreme passiveness post flop, basically zero bluffs. So it's so unfortunate when I see him jam there, I thought he, it was more like aces and ace-king, which he's also gonna have when I have king for two pair there, when he had the set queens, but, you know. Eh, whatever. Fuck me. 
we're gonna play our game. Uh, we have two pair here, so we open. Uh, I'm gonna check back this a lot, but when it's a green mark, uh, I lose a guy. I'm just gonna bet like this range. Doesn't really matter. You're gonna see now. I have two pair. Remember, I flopped two pair. Now I also have the flush draw. Let's see. Are we always losing against 9 10 here? Uh, I'm gonna go half, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, if he can still have 6-8 and worse 2 pairs, I'm just gonna call. Usually they never bluff, so uh, I'm probably just... I I'm just gonna hero, I can't raise here. Uh, he's probably blocking... Uh... Yeah, there's a 4-liner also, he's blocking a 2 pair or a set, I think. So basically has 8s or uh, the other 2 pairs, so 6-8, 7-8. It's so... I'm telling again the hands, guys! Please! It's so obvious when he also goes 9 on the 36 big blend on the river and on the 4-liner, it's so obvious. Uh, so here is just donks uh, when he hits. So he bets flop multiway, I call, I get a straight, I bet 40%, he just calls and snap over bet donks. Uh, it's, I, I don't have any words anymore, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. So I'm literally telling their hands. Also when he had 2 pair, they snap raised it when he hits it. They just snap raise it and then they bet their size depending on if they like the river or not. <sighs> the only thing is he could have a set and then I don't want it to value on me, but because usually I just run into the nuts every time I have two pair, but you know. Here I'm gonna bet big, I think. Yeah. Whatever. Harmin, uh, the tilt head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you do? What can you do? What is that emote even called? Not like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Asus says, uh, it's cleared up. You look good. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Good, it's got solved. Andy, good luck today, Raft. Thank you so much, Andy. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, you know, <laughs> we just don't need to run into the cooler and it's easy. It's literally easy. We just don't need to run into the cooler. In Limpot, I'm not building anything. I'm rather check raise in a Limpot than to start building out of position and not... Yeah, he's not gonna call. Maybe I can get a random 6 or ace high to call, but you know, I'm never gonna get value here. Yeah, he's not gonna bluff. He's just checking back like ace 8 offsuit or something. Whatever. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> As I said for you new guys, etc. Probably most of you that are watching right now know it, but uh, I have created my, my new Discord. I have the link in the description. You have the invite link right now in the description, so don't miss it out. <sighs> Here we're gonna call one versus cutoff. Uh, I'm just checking down because, you know. Uh, this is strength. Uh, here I checked back his snap half. I should probably be... He can still have the flush draws, so, you know, uh, whatever. The worst river. Now I didn't, don't even win against those, so. Uh, he has showdown. Now he wants to, so he can have all the jack eggs. I think he has exactly jack eggs. Or tens. I, 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 I can't I, I got punished there, too. Uh, so he's getting the brown mark because it did it, it made zero sense that he started to bluff out of position on the turn. When they check again on the you see on the river, they they are happy with the hand and they don't have a strong hand. So basically, I I, th I should take everything that can't be beat a second pair there when he wants to show down. I should make that into a bluff. It's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. Because uh, when you when they want to check, <laughs> oh god. The only thing is I don't know if he's gonna fold the nine eight there seriously. Whatever. <laughs> uh, and this guy just plays randomly. This is the guy that donked and everything. I'm gonna fish mark him because he's playing. He's having strange donk rate. So he probably hit a nine. It feels like. It feels like X Way has a nine, and he's probably a station too. I'm gonna mark him like this. No, it's just random. It's just a random station. <laughs> what can you do, guys? What can you do? Uh, we're gonna snap check back. He can still be extremely strong. I think when they snap check back, if he goes three quarters, I'm folding. He has stance, I swear. 
You, you see how they need to tank when they because they did it too fast. I think he's strong. He can still have aces. Yeah, he has ace king, ace queen basically. I'm gonna call now, but it's so unfortunate. Ace five. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. You see how strong? How I still said he can be extremely strong on the flop. It's because of the timing. He was too confident in the check. I, I'm right again. It's so insane, guys. It's so insane. And you see how he had to tank? Oh, you're not wanna play fast anymore because you have to tank with the eights. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right, so I just know I it's so insane how I can tell what they have literally every hand. It's it's so insane. How how can I be always there? How can I always be there? I'm 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 saying he can still be extremely strong. And check like aces and, and fucking tens, you know. The snap it's just something he did with the timing out of position. Uh it's you shouldn't play that fast, I think. It's so boring. Of course, it's gonna get value against me when I have sevens and I just pot control. And they never bluff the river that size, so it's... It's not gonna bluff ace-king, ace-queen on that river, I know, but I have to call there. What can I do? It's so boring, I should probably fold everything every time. Ah, <sighs> ah, he, ha, he, ho, hu. Uh, these mean opens versus the maniac. I'm just gonna three betting every pot basically, because he's playing his sizing. Uh, he's also a calling station and he can be extremely random. Yeah, he doesn't care. We're all in basically. Just don't give me the run out that yeah we're probably losing. He probably has yeah we get the only river we have to call also. We just. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know you're not bluffing, I know. The snap all in out of position, 150 big blasts, it's always the nuts. Snap. It's, uh, do you understand what I folded last time also when I had the trips? I had the trips versus him, I, I have to fold. Because he, he snap dunk the river. They When they snap dunk big, 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 big over bets, it's the nuts. Here I'm just uh, betting, I think, like half. So this is the guy that called all in with queen, with ki king four or something. Just playing faster. Yeah, I don't care. Snap call now when I have it. Snap call now when- No, of course not! Seriously, what the fuck is this? When I finally have fucking value. She's probably gonna call down with a jack X. So if I get a clean river, I'm still shoving my queen there. Imagine if I can cooler someone one time. I've sat down for 20 minutes. I've been cooler three times already. Uh, we probably have to fold there because it went three quarter, three quarter. Yep, I'm just folding. Folding a jack. It's two. He went three quarter on the flo uh, flop. Three quarter on the turn. It's it's you fold everything, guys. He has uh, ace jack plus. You can't. Sorry, you just have to fold there. You know I'm right. You also know if you have watched these days, you know I'm right. Also, it's so boring. You know it's it takes again. It goes against me to say it, but you know I'm right there. Uh, here also he just donks all in. I just check, but it's how they don't know how to get value. They literally don't know. They think that they check twice out of position. They don't know how to uh, trap on the river, so they just shove the three times spot because they get mad that they didn't get one big blind. It's it's. I have no words. I'm gonna bet here versus this guy. Everything he's gonna probably, yeah he. Uh, I'm gonna check back this flop. He's gonna snap bets over bet right. I've had premiums against him every time and had to fold because he three times. I'm gonna see what he has. Probably a four, right? Nothing, of course. Now he, yeah, now he had to tank and go small when he was bluffing ten high. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, so no snap uh, three times uh, pot now when you don't have when you have ten high. So easy. You're so easy to play against. Just he's not check raising the ten nine with the backdoor stairs. He's just calling, trying to hit. Uh, we're just all in versus Warfriend. 
So he's gonna call a king for suited again. It's super profitable. <laughs> this is not poker. I swear to God. I swear to God. Uh, we're all in here also. So the, uh, everybody here are just calling station fishes. We're all in. We're all in everywhere. Yeah, it's so confusing because you're a fish. We're all in everywhere. You want to play your fucking uh, eight, seven off, you know? We're all in. Uh, thank you so much. The unkindled, kindled, the unkindled, the unkindled, the unkindled, the unkindled. Thank you so much for the subscription. Hope you like the content. <laughs> Hope you like the content. I'm sitting here screaming at the 25 and L. The fuck. Hermin says, I only play a Russian cash on GG. Do the regular tables have the same rake as Russian cash? Yeah, they do. They do. As far as I know, it's the same in cash games. Uh, I mean, at, at the same stakes, it should be the same. <clears throat> uh, we're just uh, squeeze isolating here versus a fish. It's just insane, you know. So when they have the full house, I have trips. I managed to get out of it two times now. They don't know how to get the value. They don't know how to get the value. That's the difference between me and them. So when they have... I'm just all in here. The problem is... He's a nit. Uh, so if he fire bets, I'm dead. But, I, you know, I have ace king now for the... This is a super nit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm not going to get more versus his uh, jacks, though. He can still have ace queen. Uh, if he has jacks, uh, I'm probably just shoving here with versus ace queen with a diamond, uh, and I'm gonna quit versus jacks. Okay. No snap call. He doesn't have jacks. Yeah. So he probably uh, he literally has tens, uh, and also if he has ten with a diamond, etc. You know, I get top two pair. I get the worst turn for everybody because either he has me or he's not gonna continue anime. I'm not gonna get more value. But it's one of the vectors. I just it's so insane. It's just so insane. Probably has ace queen of spades or something. So fucking boring when I have it. Never get value when I have it, right? Ah. <laughs> I love these stakes. Make you become mentally ill. <laughs> I swear to God. You become mentally ill. Uh, what is this? What is this? What do I do here? Come on, I'm just fish marking him. What is this? And now I have to... I have to forbet this guy if he squeezes. I swear to God, I have to. Let's get another cooler, guys. Uh, we open blind versus blind. He calls. I'm gonna check raise this board. Uh, with these cards. So, bad king. Uh, Get, can have some nice blockers depending on uh, what happens. So he's never gonna have strong hands basically, and, unless he has Jack Seven suited. Just a few combos, and um, I'm gonna go bigger also. And uh, of course, Ace Seven and uh, Sevens. But he's just betting Ray. When they bet small here on this, they're just trying to stab when you check. So you can always check raise. I think on these boards, I think it's more effective than actually betting small yourself. That's what I think. Because they're gonna float you in position and stuff, and then when you have to check a lot of turns because you don't have anything, they're gonna stab, and they even if you check raise there, they're not gonna believe you anymore because nobody does it in these stakes, so you know. You know, I check back here, second pair. He's probably gonna donk hard because uh, I have a second pair, so he must have a top pair. Yeah, just folding. Uh, it's just how the way it is. He went pot also, that's never a bluff, so he's gonna have eight, jack eight, ten jack, uh, this already made straight. Uh, I just have to overfold there, especially if he probably belongs. Uh, it's so boring, because it's so boring. It's so boring in a way that you can't call down to one bet with a second pair. Uh, he can still have 6x, he can still have 8s and stuff. I don't think I have to call down versus him, uh, because nobody bluffs, but I'm gonna do it this time, because maybe he has 10 high. Not even he bluffs there, he takes the worst. I 
you see how f I I just uh, I I I just have never seen a bluff here. That is not a bluff. He's value betting there. He's block betting. So he wants to check down. So he has something. Oh no! I called all the way. I called all the way versus a fish. He gets a jack river. So when he hits, then he check. Oh no no! I don't. I don't. I don't have any more words. Uh, he bets big, so he has a6 minimum. We just have to call. We can't raise because we want to get it in, basically. You already see it. He's going to snap three quarters minimum now. Here it goes. He's never going to check because he went three quarters on the flop. We can just call. We can never raise here. We can literally never raise. Yeah, I'm telling you. He's going to go big. We just have to chase it, and then we have to block the river when we hit. It's the only way. Uh, I think we have to bluff fair. I just don't know if... I'm gonna go the same on the space. I just don't know if he folds. I just don't know if he actually folds ace queen or ace jack or ace 10. He has a really strong hand. He has already told us. Yeah, if we got the fold nice. So you just have to play that attack because when I have value there, so we have to fold nines. He probed dongs three quarters. Nobody bluffs. So what can he have that has value? It's 8x, deuces, and queen x. It's, it's literally so boring. This is what you do. This is how you beat it. This is how you beat it. Unfortunately, this is the sad reality. You can't call one bit with the second pair if they probe dunk pots. It's like a disease, you know. We're just all in here, of course, versus a fish. And we have ace queen suited now. Let's see. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I, uh, it's the, I think it's the fourth time now. I think it's the fourth time now. We get set up again. I, I, yeah, burn, burn one of the outs also. Yeah, nice. Yeah, whatever. Fuck this. Fuck this seriously now. It's just insane now. Yeah, I give him the flush draw also just in case I hit my queen of diamonds. Uh, yeah, so we have double up. Uh, I don't know how many fishes already. I literally don't know anymore. I just know that I'm losing every time. Basically, that's it. When it's... I, I just run into the better hand every time it's all in. That's all I know. That's literally all I know. That's all I know. What can I do there? Tell me what to do there. Whatever, we bet big here. He calls. We're just gonna go big here. I don't give a shit anymore. Don't raise. I'm gonna shoot my brains if you raise. I have two pair again. Just call with something worse. You can have four, five, five, six. Da, 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 da. King seven. Why do they always have to tank and fold when I have value? It's gonna fold. It doesn't matter. There's there there are so many missed draws here. There's the double missed flush draw and this, all the seven x and three x. Don't get a call. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry soon. I'm gonna cry soon. Marquinho says, Russian cash rake is capped at three big blind. You are talking shit, man. You don't be saying something if you don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never heard. Russian cash rake is capped at three big blind. I don't know, man. Is it that? Is it something to be so mad about? I really thought that it was the same. That's what I, what I just randomly knew, but you know. Of course, uh, you can't know every every single aspect of everything, so they have difference. So okay, you just you can co correct, you know, in uh... so we have the flush here. We're gonna bet big when you have a bad flush. Now Marquinho is really really bad. Sorry, really bad, really mad. Now he must take it out. You don't understand why I'm playing 20... Why? Why? Marquinho, Marquinho, Marquinho. We're just gonna call it with a flush. Yeah, we're... nice, nice river. If you don't know why I'm playing 25 and L, why do you speak like that? Seriously. Why do you speak like that, Marquinho? I, I've, ex I've explained like in the first three or four streams why I play here uh, and what I played before. Why don't you look that up instead? We have to fold there, of course. 
we're just running into flash versus flash. <clears throat> Do you understand, Marquinho, what I mean? Th that's the same thing that you just said to me. If you don't know something, why you talk shit? It's the same thing. And now you're doing the same. Because you don't know all the information, right? Why do I play 25 NL? Maybe you should know that answer before you uh, start and judge and talk the shit that you do. Right? We're just gonna bet here for value. Snapfold. Yeah, so if you, 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 I mean, I mean, if you watch two streams, I, I, with, with that English, I, I guess you're saying that you're, you have watched two streams. You're moaning all the time and thinking you're a god. Seriously, man, are you, as I said, are you new to the stream? I mean, as I've said also, there are like 100 or 1000 other streamers you can look at that don't moan. If you don't want to moan, I mean, feel free to look at other streams. There's zero problems, man. But you're still here watching, and I mean, nobody's forcing you, right? Uh, and then I misjudged the question and uh, and uh, and said that Russian Cash has the same rake because usually they have on on uh, on a few other sites. And and then it's like uh, doomsday, you know. Then it's doomsday. Now it must be war. Just take it easy, bro. Uh, and also, if you have watched more of my streams, I think I'm a god. Are you kidding me? I... Really? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. I'm always telling you also, if you see something, I, d I make a mistake or something, I'm the first one. Please tell me. I want to know. I want to know. I'm gonna play bad so many times, so, so many times. You're gonna see me play bad and misplay hands and misread stuff. If you if you say something like that, it's no problem. I'm the first one to say, yeah, I miss I misjudge. You can ask other people, how many times ha haven't I said like, uh, uh, you're totally right, I should have done that instead. Uh, there's no problem for me. But you know, if it makes you tilt, Marquinho, I mean, as I said, there are many other streamers. If I make you feel that's bad and uh, that uncomfortable, then you know, you you can look at the stream that that knows uh, if if the rake is three big blind or not three big blind. If that is how you judge a player, I mean, if you judge a player like that, uh, we're gonna go for it here versus a fisk. Let's moan, guys. Let's moan even more now. We have to tilt uh, a couple of viewers, man. What's even more fun is when people get triggered. That's that's the best part. Man, didn't you know that the didn't you know that the the Russian cash is same uh, cap uh, camp? Okay, bro. Big deal. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no, no. Too quiet. We must keep it down. We must keep it down. We can't uh, raise our voice here. We can't raise the voice. Uh, we're shoving King Jack offsuit versus a brown mark. <clears throat> and also, if you have watched me, also you should... If you have watched more than two streams, you should start to know like a bit of my personality also. Uh, that I'm usually talking everything in every or works I've done before in sports I played before. I always talk... Usually with a, a bit of extreme, exaggerated confidence. So as I've said also before, I can look like exactly. I probably can can. For some people, it can look like I think like I'm a god and never can do mistakes or something. But it's just it's just my pers personality, you know. I can't change that. It's always been like that since I was like whatever four or five when I started to play soccer. 
it's just uh, you know if it triggers you if you get mad about it because you see someone with like thinking they're good or thinking they're better than they are I mean there's no worries uh, here we raised uh, we three bet in position we bet his snap called we're gonna get it in of course But Marquinho, it's just a moaning and talking shit about all the players. It's... Oh, we get there. One second, Marquinho. I'm gonna answer you soon. Uh, we're gonna shove. Let me see if we can get value now. No snap call. It's not so good. And we get the fold again when we have value. As I've said, Marquinho, uh, we have the nuts here. He raises. Uh, we're gonna go all in. He can still have ace deuce. Yeah, so ace deuce. Yeah, it's so easy what they have. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, it's total humble, humble. Uh, he was just unlucky there. I was just very lucky that I have not straight there. Uh, and you know, I, I was lucky and he was unlucky. I don't wanna be 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 looked as I'm I, I I'm I'm a god or something. <laughs> As I said, Marquinho, if, if 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 you don't like the moaning and talking shit about the players, that's a part of the game. It's part of what I do. It's part of like just who I am, who what, what I do. I, I I could sit down and play 10k NL cash games. Let's just pretend in the future. If I if if I do that, I'm still when I go down and play 25 NL, I'm still gonna stream exactly like this. Even if I beat one million NL, it doesn't matter. Do you understand? It's just part of my personality is just part of my of, of this stream you can't change that it doesn't matter if i if i go and play 2 and l if i if i start a bankroll challenge at 2 and l i'm probably gonna have the still moans and the still cries and still talk shit about players it's just a part of whatever you know you get a bit of feelings you play a hand something happens you just moan a bit then 30 seconds later it's okay you just keep on playing you know it's not affecting me that deeply as you think or maybe you think it affects really really deeply if you as i've said if that really bothers you if it's something wrong if you can't hear it you can't take it if it's really bad for you if you say that that's really bad you can't be like that you must be a certain way that i choose what to do you do in your stream as i've said change stream no problems i'm not forcing you i'm not you know i mean there are quite a few people now that that uh, are enjoying this so you know man is it okay if other people enjoys it, or everybody has to think like Marquinho. Does everybody have to think Marquinho? So Marquinho, if you have a preference, if you like vanilla glass ice cream, now everybody has to like vanilla, and you're preaching that, no, you should be like vanilla. You must be vanilla, and everybody else likes vanilla. I, I decide what happens. There, there's no right and wrong. It's just a stream. It's just a stream, man. Vita set here. Uh, here we called a delayed, so he checked his snap three quarter. Uh, over bets never call against this guy. He just has value, especially if you snap call any over bets. <coughs> so he's still tanking here. Alejandro, yo, what up, man? Finally able to catch a stream again. Good luck today. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, everybody lives in different time zones. I have to go small because they're never strong when they check. So, you know. <clears throat> uh, he snap fold, of course, because they're never strong. Marquinhos says, sorry, I got angry, but I like your game. I just can't stand this morning all the time and constantly saying every man is so bad. Yeah, I, I, I literally had, is it four or five now? I In like the first four the minutes, I had four or five versus shorter stacks. When I have two pair and I have queens, I had two pair like twice. I have ace queen versus ace king. I have queen uh, two, queens versus aces. Um... Uh, so it was four or five all ins. Yes, I, I cried a bit. If you can't take it, mute me. What the f it doesn't happen that that often. It's when it was the fourth or the fifth all in, you know, I just cried a little bit. It happens. Whatever. Let's go. Marquinhos says sorry, didn't want to be rude. No, it's it's not 
as I've said, I, I always, you can always write what you want in this stream, uh, you know, you should say what you think, of course, if it bothers you, just tell me, it doesn't, it, it's good, man, it's just good, you see, I'm the contra contrary to probably to what you think, you think that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm the best and never, everybody should talk, as a, no, say what you want, guys, I, I'm just saying my perspective, I hear what you're saying, but I also have to explain, I can't change it, I literally can't change it. I can think about it, I can make it a bit less, I can make it a bit more, of course, I can control that, but in the end, um, I, I can't change it. It's just uh, natural, you know, it's just all natural. <laughs> uh, here with 3-bet versus our friend, we're gonna go for it all the way. Uh, here we hit trips, it's never gonna call, because we're whatever, we can, should just block. Uh, we're gonna go all in here on river. So this is the guy that just stations everything. This is a really good board for us. Now we're bluffing, guys. I, I don't think we have to go all in, actually. I think we just go like this. Something like... 44.9. And just hope he falls on ace. Uh, let me guess. This is the first... This is the second bluff on the river. This is the second bluff. I had value and trips and nuts. Yeah, nice. Now it's good. Now it's good. Finally, we, we got awarded. Because they have been overfolding the river a lot. A lot. Uh, so it's nice that you get the foldos when you're bluffing, of course. Uh, with you betting him again, he's never gonna... Yeah, he's just getting tilted now, probably. Here he's just shoving versus a 3-bet. They don't know how to play. Uh, I'm not gonna let him realize with his ace, queen, or even tens or anything. I'd rather play like this. Uh, so he wants to play his game now, where, he, where we just get it in pre... Then I lose my edge. He's gonna open again. He opens every hand. Okay. Uh, we have top set. We bet aces. So we're gonna bet small, I think. So this is the guy that shoved versus our three bet. His snap call, so he has capped range. Is that okay if I say that? If it's okay if I, I, I just tell you that he has a capped ranger? Or is it too confident? Yeah, just a snap fold, of course. <coughs> uh, we three bet out of position. The fish calls. We're gonna bet, of course, when we have it. I mean, we're gonna bet the range here versus him anyway. If he raises, I'm gonna cry and just. Uh, he folds. We go for value here. He's gonna call with worse 10x. Even a size. Okay. Uh, the Croker says, Mark, it's interesting. it's interesting you keep watching. If you feel such discontent, there are other streamers. Anyways, good luck today. Enjoy the stream. Enjoying the streaming. Exactly. I mean, uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, of course, just express what you think, but it's not that's how you make it sound, you know. And what do you mean it's not good? I mean, I mean we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. Uh, we're going to leave it there. Uh, he's just donking pots. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call. But he, you know, if he pots again, I'm probably gonna fold. He wanna get it in. He basically is saying, I, I am all in. He's gonna go all in. If he pots now, he's gonna... I, I think I just fold. Yeah, I, I just can't call those because he's all in. He's all in. Uh, I don't even remember the action here I was talking. Oh, I, I forgot the action. So he opened or I, I three bet him and he donks. I'm not. I'm still not gonna do it. He he just wanna get the money in, you know. I how do you say no problem? You can't even say thank you or something. Whatever. Uh, here he donks. I'm just gonna call. This is the guy that cured with ace high on a super wet board. So I'm gonna brown mark him. Uh, and here we're basically all in. I I'm just calling it all in now. I'm gonna snap call it. Now I'm really all in. If he, I'm just gonna. He's gonna still have like. Yeah, he doesn't care. 
they're so obvious. He doesn't even get it in. So he's getting the pink mark now on this guy. Is it okay there if I just, uh, you know, or maybe that's too overconfident? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alejandro, as I said, uh, let me see. Shitcon Maxi says, uh, why is that guy bitching about you play? I, I don't know. If, you know, somebody, a lot of people, of course, gonna, gonna, gonna dislike because I'm a bit, you know, different in how I speak and stuff. Uh... And I can be, you know, take a lot of room. And some people don't like it. You know, it's it's not new in my life. I, I, you know, I've been hearing it a lot. So it doesn't, you know. Basically, you either l almost like me or, or hate me, you can say in one way. But uh, you're just going to call because it doesn't fall three bets. So we can just call on our button and play in position, actually. Uh, we're all in. I think we can check back. No, actually, I think he calls if we if we try to steal it. I think he just calls everything. Like, if he has ace 10, he's never gonna fold, I think. And when he hits his 10 or 8, oh, he folds now. Come on. Uh, betting for value here. Uh, Alejandro says, um, You ever watch an all in PAV stream? That's how they want you to be. He's a great player, but we literally just stream his screen and silence at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know who all in PAV is. I, I, I follow him also. I. I Perfectly no. Exactly. I, I don't understand because 90 I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> but seriously, 90% of the streams are basically the same, I think. I've watched a lot, a lot, a lot of poker streams, a lot of different, I swear to God, and probably you guys have also. Why, again, I said it also last time, why would you want another stream that has to behave exactly like them or else you feel triggered? Why? Just, why would you want... I mean, you always have the options to go to the normal... Let's call it normal. Uh, to the normal stream. Uh, I'm actually gonna go pots here. Ish. You always have the option because there, there are so many, so they're always gonna be there. Right? You don't always have the options to, to, to go to... I'm actually just shoving here. You don't always have the option to go to, go to a stream that's a bit of make it a bit different because there aren't so many you know what wh how can it be such a huge problem i don't understand just mute me or if you just like how i play just mute me then and and just look at how i play without the explanation if it's really that triggering i mean if you keep i don't know i don't know alandro says uh i found a solution no more talking limit yourself to about five to ten more words an hour exactly I can literally, I'm not now, since I'm streaming myself and I'm a content creator now and, and, and everything, I'm not going to out names, but I literally have, if I go to my Twitch right now, I probably have like six or seven, I could literally tell you right now, go to them for 15 minutes, for 15 minutes, and see how many like words to say or something interesting, do they tell something about their life, do they just talk with their viewers even, I, I don't know, but I, I see, I swear to God. I'm blocking here because it's two nits. I they can still have jacks and queens, this guy. It's any it's it's not wrong, of course. I'm not saying it's wrong. Everybody do does what they I'm just folding here. Everybody do how they want. I'm just talking, but why would you hate on the streamer that talks a bit more? I don't get it. I let everybody do what they want. It's not like I go in on their streams. I have enjoyed their streams many way. When I wanna see a bit of GTO plays and you know, see a serious uh only, only poker, only talk about the poker hand stream. I enjoy it so much, you know, so many times that I've enjoyed it. But I, and I'm never gonna hate to them. I'm like, hey, you should tell a joke something. You should try and laugh something. You should maybe have a reaction something when you win with aces or something. No, they are them, just themselves. They're just playing. They don't talk too much. It's perfect. So many people like it also like that. It's perfect. But you know, I, I know I'm not gonna be for everyone. I accept it. It's, I don't need it. I, I really don't need to be for everyone. Trust me. I, I, I'm not trying to be for everyone. If I wanted to be like mainstream and for everyone, there were so many things I could like try and behave different, but it's not gonna be genuine in the in, in the end. You know it, guys. You're gonna feel it. It's not gonna be genuine. In the, in the long run, it's not gonna work. Why would I want to try to be more mainstream if, if I'm not myself? You know, oh, come on, guys. Come on. We I think we're all adults here, right? We're all adults here.
So let's go. <coughs> let's go. Uh, falling versus the nits every time. 100% of the time he prob dunks into three people. I'm only gonna call... I don't even... Uh, the better, like, queen 10 plus there. That's the only thing I'm gonna call there versus him. I, I, maybe that's too much even. Maybe that's too much. Uh, here I could start bluffing, even if it's ace high, blah blah blah, but I just have to go big when they take the passive line, because when they are pre-flop aggressor, they're gonna have like ace 10, ace queen, ace... You know what I'm saying? Or like queen jack of spades that, you know, they never bluff and they see the big sizing, they're never gonna continue because they're never gonna be... have a good enough range to play and they know it, even if they're... They're not bad, they're not bad, but they're a bit weaker. Of course, you can't say bad here. It's You can't say bad because you're gonna hurt their feelings. If I'm a fish, if I am a f super fish or whatever, I love to please call me a fish. When I do fish plays, you've seen it so many times. For you that have followed me in the in the first streams, how many times have I called myself a fish? That where I've said I'm, I'm I'm such a retard. Look at that retard fish play I just did. I, I'm literally like that on myself also. I'm critiquing myself also. You know, please critique me. Uh, I want to see what he has now here. He's still gonna have like pockets etc. But he's betting everything and wins every hand. So you know. Uh, so here we're all in versus four three offsuit. Can we win? Um, Makura still tanks. He's probably gonna check back. N nice to see a hand now. Yeah, he just have checks back squads. So yeah, it doesn't matter really. They never bluff. It doesn't matter how big of stack or whatever. Uh, we held here. He just checks back squads. Okay. Uh, here we checked back versus Makura. Maybe he's tilting and then through his. You can't call here. Either you raise or you fold. Uh, I'm gonna start and do this now, uh, because he's just block betting and stuff. I I'm done with him now. I'm literally done with him now. He he's betting, he's never taking a passive line. He probably has it every time though. Uh, here we 3 bet in position, we just bet. He folded, uh, Makura folded here, Jack 8. So we 3 bet in position, he snap called the 3 bet. I go 30%, top 2 pair. <coughs> if he has 6s, I'm gonna just uh, shoot my brains. William Yenti, greetings from Finland. Vi uh, greetings again, William. Uh, sorry, William. Viljami. Viljami from Finland, welcome. Uh, hey, Dean. Uh, Mr. Dean says, uh, you're great. Loving the streams. I've been watching them back. Thank you so much, man, for the words. Glad you're enjoying them. At least, you know, I get more of those comments than other comments. So, you know, I'm going to just keep going. And, you know, if the people that doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. I wasn't even expecting to have one view. It doesn't... I always, of course, appreciate everything and all the viewers and everything, but you have to also understand I don't also expect how can you say, I don't expect to have a million views, I don't expect to have 20 viewers right now, I don't expect it because I just want the people that just enjoy the stream, enjoy the content and learn something from it and we can create a community, talk a bit uh, if it's seriously two people or 100,000 people of course, it's gonna be different because you're gonna have a bigger audience, etc. But it's not the main factor. I spoke like this. Look at my first stream. Go back in YouTube. Look at it. How do I speak there? I speak the same way as if it's 100,000 people. I speak constantly. I scream a bit. I'm alone. I'm alone in the first streams. Look at them. Look at the streams. Uh, here, uh, Paul with the gut shot and over. Yeah, I'm just calling, but yeah, I'm probably gonna dunk now. Uh, he, I don't think he can fold an over pair. Uh, he shoves, I have a straight. He has also the straight, so he literally had nothing. He literally had nothing. Do you understand why they have brown marks? I was so much ahead. He was basically drawing that because I have the better... Oh my... Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Move on. 
Uh, Alejandro says, yeah, man, I just ignore the people complaining. There are no point in replying. I feel like they kind of troll to get a response. Dean says, uh, was thinking the same, probably lonely. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's just like the, I'm just shoving here, I don't care. I know. The easy and uh, whatever thing is to just not respond, but this happens so little. It's I think it's just like the second one. So I just take the discussion immediately and just, you know, try to talk about it. But, you know, I, I should just probably ignore it. He calls with Queen to sue that let he has three outs guys i'm not gonna complain hold please oh he hit the deuce no 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 oh uh it's the sixth all in guys versus the random maniacs calling everything what should i do what should i do what should i do no just tell just tell me now it's 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 getting a bit ridiculous now just tell me now just tell me what to do he cold calls an all in with Queen Deuce off. Cold calls all in. Queen Deuce suit them. Six to be bad. I still lose. I, I lost again. I'm gonna three bet because this guy is just insane now. I lost again. Turn down the volume now, guys. I lost again. I've never won an all in. I've never won an all in. It's aces. I had queens versus aces. Two pair versus uh, sets. Ace Queen versus Ace King versus the same Maniacs. Now Nines versus Queen Deuce. And I'm basically almost dead. Uh, I have top pair. He just donks. I'm just shoving. I'm, I'm shoving. I'm probably just taking a break if he has it. I'm just shoving, but I, I, I can't play here anyway. He probably is trapping me. It doesn't matter now. Uh, please hold now. We can get it all back almost. We can almost get it all back. And here we're all in versus a short track with nines versus ace tens. Can't win. Can't win. Never won. And then we lost with eights versus... Uh, we lost with eights versus king queen suited a short track also. So And now we're losing versus with nines versus ace tens. So please hold. One time is good. Please hold. And we can't win! Woo! We lost again! We lost again! We lost again! We tripled him up again! We tripled him up again! We tripled him up again, guys! Nice! We lost that too! So we lost 9s versus Ace-10. Look, all these big blinds. Look, all this. We lost again. Uh, we're bluffing here, all in. No, actually not. Ah, uh, he's fishing me. No, no, no. I'm actually bluffing. I wanted to float because... No, no, no. He's just fishing me. He's just fishing me. He can still have the nuts and stuff. I, I floated turn in a 3-bet pot because I thought he was going to check fold river. But they never bluff. So so we lost. Uh, let's see. No, I want to see now. No, I want to see. Sorry. I want to see. It's insane. i probably going to just play the higher stakes. Because this is going to take forever. This is going to take forever. I want to see. So we lost... All in with nines versus queen do suited. Then queen jack top pair versus the flush draw versus same guy. Same table. We lost nines versus ace ten. We lost queens versus aces. We lost ace queen versus ace king versus 30 big blind stack. Maniac. We lost two pair. King four, king queen four versus queens. He just shoved when I check raised. Uh, flop. How are, are we ever? How are we ever? We didn't get it back. He had 30 big blinds, guys. He left now, of course. He left. And he, he had 266 big blinds. I'm just gonna call this. I think this looks weaker. I think he has like fives or sixes or something. Even... No, it's just... Uh, if I can't even win 20 big blinds here, then... Uh, can we hold, please? Is it okay if we hold? How does he even have... If he gets the three, I'm gonna... Please? I have ace-10 versus 5-4. He's not dead still. And I have ace-ace deuce board. Do you understand how sick it is? How can... They're not dead. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Uh, Alejandro says, what was that in position uh checked back with quad yeah 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 i don't he checked back quads you know just because you know he th thought i had a straight flush or something and i i don't know i literally don't know 
Dean says, I've seen people check back the nuts. Maybe they either, I don't know if they had the nuts or they aren't concentrating and have folded the nuts a cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, probably he timed out. Uh, probably he timed out or really wanted to think about the sizing and they didn't think about... I'm going to check here again to check race. Just pray he hits a queen. No, he has ace eye. So sorry again. I was right again. Sorry. Mm. Maybe I'm a bit too confident. Maybe I'm a bit too confident. I'm right again. Look the stream and how many times I've been wrong in calling their hand. I can't bet there. I just can't bet there because he doesn't have anything. Limping versus a short stack because he's gonna overcall my openings. Uh, maybe gonna check raise. Depends on his size. If he goes over one, yeah, he's gonna jam probably. Gonna check. He can still be trapping. Actually, I want to see his hand, his atex. So you know, he's probably trapping. I just know they're never gonna get value against me. So even he, when he bets the fluff, it's not a bluff. You have to fold there. You just have to fold there. You just have to. So when I finally get it in, when I find it either, you know, it's the cooler situation. When I finally get in ahead, then they just win anyway. So it's so demotivating. Uh, just calling with nines here. calling I'm gonna call again if you go three quarters usually they don't have bluffs but this turn opens up many bluffs but usually they bluff smaller even when they do bluffs he goes 90% I have to I have to fold again guys I have to fold because he scrolled up to 90% I have to fold again nines this is a standard call but I just have to because they don't double barrel they just don't double barrel especially the big size it's so boring I can never bluff catch here yeah, so this is gonna be the last stream of the week. So we're gonna talk about how we're gonna do the rest of the weeks. If we're gonna continue on 25 and L, because I'm getting sick in the head here. I'm seriously getting sick in the head here. I'm getting sick in the head here. Uh, here I'm just blocking multi-way because I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fall to any race, of course, because no, these are nits. All of these are nits. Maybe they're gonna call ace queen, ace king high also. Everybody folded. Here I go for value. Uh, here he tanks a really long time uh, and still goes for it. So he's gonna have uh, king x. Uh, here he calls with threes even. So, you know, getting value there. Oh, so boring. So boring. No, but it's also the stake in itself. It's so big because you can never bluff catch. So it removes one concept of the poker. It's so... It's so... What can you say? You can never... Yeah, yeah. We. I don't know what... Yeah, so maybe I just leave, uh, as I've said before. Because you can never bluff catch. At least that when I played 888, the snap poker... You can't hero here. You can literally never hero. Uh, you know, they were bluffing. They were blasting a bit. Uh, they were a bit looser. Even at 25 and else. So, so maybe we're going to actually start from there on Tuesday. Marquinho says, uh, I just wanted to check back quads to see your reaction. Yeah, you know. But I, it's probably just a misclick or... Or... Uh, or what can you say? Or a timeout. And you probably also wrote just for my reaction, right? Doesn't matter. You, you think I'm gonna tilt because somebody checks back squads? Better, better. But it's nice to know that you're uh, Makalura. Yeah, so you're, let's see, have you settled down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so strange because uh, if you're Makalura, mm -mm -mm, I just have to think. Yeah, we probably have to change table here.
So, you know, if you wanted to stream snipe, you shouldn't have said it, but, you know. Uh, it's okay. Actually, I'm, I'm still gonna be in position against you, but I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna play against you at all. So, here we have one without. It's so easy to stream snipe in, on the regs tables. It's insane. Uh, no, sorry, I really timed out because I didn't see time bank. I uh, know that's one of the reasons I said why he checked back. Of course, I know nobody checks back if they know they have quads. It's like, come on, it's obvious something happened. Do you think I think somebody is that needed it, uh, that they check back quads? It's just a joke. And and the the guy judging me is the guy who sits at twenty five and L and tried to stream snipe me also. All right. All right. It's fine. <coughs> La, 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 la. But maybe, maybe Bacalura, uh, sorry, should I call you Marquinho? Maybe Marquinho got a bit mad because he saw that I had a fish mark on him when he joined the table. Before I knew it was him. So, you know, he had to to make a stand and say, Who do you think you are? You think everybody are just fishes? And he probably heard me say a bit of comments, commentating his hand when I didn't know it was him. So, you know, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I'm just gonna call one. I'm just gonna call down here versus this guy. He's not gonna bluff anyway. Yuho, Eren, and uh, more Finns people, welcome so much. Thank you for the subscription, man. If you raise this, I, you know. Welcome, man. Cameron Andrew says, good luck today. I'm glad I quit playing online and switched to live. It's so much softer. Yeah, yeah, man. It's so nice to play, nice to play uh, live. Uh, some check raising here. Uh, so I checked back, he checked, uh, sorry, I checked, he checked back, I checked again, he goes really small. Yeah, I'm probably just fucking shoving, am, am I not? He shouldn't have like 10x. I don't know if he, he if he folds though, that's the only problem, if he liked. What can he check back? He's not gonna check back over pairs when he plays 50% VPIP, I think. Uh, so he can still have like 9s, betting like this, really small, and like 7x. Uh, flash draws, of course, if he has like Jack X of hearts. I, I almost never take this line. Uh, I bluff pretty rarely, but when when they with this line, but when he does that, it's so obvious, he's so capped, it's so insane. Uh, here I'm betting one big blind. <coughs> so I check turn. Brra, brra, brra. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba I'm gonna isolate this guy. Gonna uh, fish mark him. <clears throat> his snap calls, we're all in, basically. I think he's... Uh, no, we're just gonna go for it like this. He's never gonna race if he doesn't have basically a really good hand, so we we don't want him to to float so wide. Yeah, yeah. Always get there when you fold, right? Da -da 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 -da.
As I've said, imagine just winning one more of the all-ins every day, every session. I swear to god, it's something wrong when I go all-in, pre. There's something so wrong. Also, we're gonna look at the biggest pots uh, when I end this session. We're gonna take a fast look also at the biggest pots of tonight. Uh, just so you see what happened. No matter how it ends. <coughs> They're all in here for 45 big blinds. Ace Queen versus Ace Jack. Marcus uh, gets gets really really mad now that I said that he was stream sniping. He, he he's uh, I'm coming to his stakes and I fish mark him and it's really really mad now. It's okay, Marquinho. You you need uh, I just need to to mute or something. You're you're just uh, I I you're just you're on another level, man. I can't I can't talk to you. You you literally don't understand. Let's see how you do it. Da 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 you're just too negative, man. You you don't understand jokes. You don't understand irony, and you you take stuff that I say too personal. You probably he he probably just got too too triggered that he was a fish mark. He gone, guys. He gone. And then he says uh, this is a joke. Then you know, then it's bye bye. Still, he's here. He's still here. He's still watching, though. Everything he's talking like that, you know? but he's still here watching me play. <laughs> Woo! Gotta love it, man. Da, da, da. No, just toxicity, guys. We, we, we just have to delete those. We just have to delete those. There's enough toxicity, you know, in the... Let's go, guys. Bam, 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 bam. <coughs> gonna have a nice, nice session today. Then we're gonna look at the graph. I'm gonna look at the top hands of today. But first, we have to battle it out here. The swings. The variants. Uh, and also after this session, we're gonna talk where I'm gonna play next. If I'm gonna stay on 25NL on GG. Or if we're gonna do something uh, on a different side. Or maybe go up here. Uh, but I feel spontaneously what I wanna do is I wanna... I think I'm actually gonna play next time on 888. That's what I think. Uh, we're gonna try it out, and then uh, if it goes good, we're just gonna call here. It goes smaller, super small. Just snap check back. This is also something now. I... He can still have ace king. I should go really small. He has ace king, ace queen, king queen, something like that. <laughs> He's extremely bad. The, that line is extremely bad because he should check raise there if he continues. Just check calling with ace king high or like king queen or whatever. It's too obvious. <coughs> ID says ever consider joining a CFP or something similar? 
So CFP is uh, cash for coaching for profit, right? I think I have some time. Let me guess, you come from a CFP site? Just uh, a random guess? Or you just genuinely wonder, maybe you're in the spot where you have to choose if you should do it and are really wondering? Tell me what's up, man. Uh, with three bet in position here versus Lucas Budin Budoni, and you get the fold nice with six high. Uh, we don't call here and chase the, the third knot versus some, some kind of tight player. Uh, over bluffing here versus uh, Marquinho. Maybe he's gonna hear a lighter also, since he just got banned. <laughs> I get the fold, nice. I'm showing him also. Uh, we're going for two big blinds here. <laughs> I, I checked like all the way. I'm probably gonna call a raise. Depends a bit. Uh, so we're gonna move table here at Marquinhos table. We're just three left also. And uh, folding the three bet versus knit out of position. Hello? Here we go. And here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Maybe I'm gonna check raise actually, depending on what sizing and, and stuff. If he goes small, I'm gonna check raise, I think. It's not a super good board like that, but I'm just gonna attack his timing and the sizing, yeah. So if he tanks and goes small, I'm actually gonna do this. <coughs> yeah, so they can't just uh, liberally... I think when they tank and go small, they're basically always weak. Uh, and when they're strong, they just go half or bigger, so you know.
So let's see if we can be on the good side of a cooler today. Uh, just gonna shove here versus a random fish. This is slims blind versus blind. <clears throat> Snapful. I've seen them call with like uh, King Four suited in those spots, so you know, depending on how loose he is. If he limps again, we're gonna go for it. Uh, defending Jack Aid is suited here, blind versus uh, Hijack. Uh, this is a board we can't do anything, literally anything, especially if he goes big. Yeah, he goes big. <coughs> Opening Jack 7 suited 4-way, 5-way. In the He just called calls. We're actually going to check. He's going to have a lot of pocket pairs. It's just going to call. Uh, they're not going to fold anyway. So I think we check again and then to check raise. <clears throat> He's waiting for that. The nits always snap check back to snap three quarters if you check again. They do it every day. Every day they do the same. It's the same thing every day. Yeah, you just attack that range. He, he literally has like nines and tens and eights there. They do the same thing every day. You just, you're just starting to punishing his uh, delayed C back. So he can't liberally do that. So you're gonna mix in a bit of strong hands uh, on the turn that you take that line so then he's gonna stop do that and he's gonna become even more face up so, so you're just like breaking him down but you have to know the player type and then you have to know what you're doing right uh getting three but here he is really really tight basically where want to get trips or straight or something we're gonna call now uh, yeah i mean we still had it against ace king mm. he's probably gonna tell us with his sizing what he has and stuff it's really tight though yeah that's there's a lot of combos of ace king i'm gonna call uh, if he goes big i probably overfold but it depends also, of course, what he does with Ace-King. Uh, here we go for value on the river. He's probably gonna call with King X. Yeah. Uh, here he goes big. Just folding. I'm just folding here. Showing him. It doesn't matter. I'm showing him because I, I want to tell him basically, fuck you. You're so tight that I just can do this and you're never gonna exploit it anyway. You're just a face up net. You're never get, you're not even getting value versus top pair. When he tanks really long and still goes big, it's because he's serious. He wanna play a serious spot. He really wanna think about his sizings. I'm just folding there. It's not I just know the all in is coming on the river, so you know. I literally have like two outs. <coughs> They're not doing that with Ace King. With Ace King, they just snap check back. Turn. Just playing poker, guys. I'm gonna take it down a little notch. There we go. Uh, opening king, uh, queen, ten suited of the diamond. Queen, ten of the same suit. And here we have ace, king suited. <clears throat> I'm 
gonna get it in. He just snap calls the world. <laughs> Six, four, ten, two hearts with ace, king of spades. Just snap folding. He goes bigger, just snap fold. Can't do anything there. Just gonna fill my water. Accidentally misclicked here. I opened under gun 97 suited, but you know, happens. Uh, we just get a cold call versus our friend here. Uh, I think we need to start bluff this. Uh, here we're gonna, we call the three bet because we're gonna outplay them. We're gonna go all in. He folds here with nine high, nice. Uh, yeah, he has the overpair. It's so obvious. They, they just play in one way. One surprise up to you. We literally get the the pair, the backdoor straights, and the flush draw. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. We have so much equity, it's insane. It's clean, right? Yeah. Didn't remember if it was a deuce there, but... <laughs> it's so obvious. They, they literally don't have us checks. It's... So... 3B, O, Elva, BB, plus... And just the check snap all in on the wet, you know, it's it's so capped. To the overpair, at least we get there this time, so I'm not gonna complain. <coughs> yeah, you have so much equity against the overpairs on that board, it's value, it's value. And then if you mix in like some ace-king or some random bluff that he maybe shoves, then you're printing. Or if he has like ace-king with hearts, even if he, you have the same flush draw, but when you have a pair, I mean, it's super profitable. <clears throat> uh, just gonna bet small here. He snap folds, so we gonna note maybe he has the snap snap fold button flop. So we gonna note that. So maybe sometimes it's worth to take a one big blind stab when you have like five high, you know. Opening ace jack offsuit here. Viliami says, uh, What are the blinds? Uh, you can see on the top left here. So, on every table, uh, like here, you see it's uh, 10 cent small blind and 25 cent uh, big blind. So, we're playing 25 NL, $25 poker. It's basically 100 big blinds, is $25. <clears throat> Uh, we're just gonna call here. Uh, we're probably gonna fold depending on sizing. <clears throat> but when we're... Yeah, this is better when... He... When this guy checks, it's much better. He's still gonna have like jacks and stuff with the heart. When he goes really big, you just fold here. It's really bad, I think, from him. <clears throat> he, I think he's batting his hand, so he has a strong hand now, I think. It's just my read. Yeah, so this guy can have kings, tens, and nines. He can also, of course, have all the flushes. This is extreme strength to do is on a treat monotone board versus a big sizing out of position. He's all in. He's has the nuts. I think he has the nuts. He has he has so many flushes. I think a, a really low flush when he takes this line or basically nines, tens or kings. I think it's the only thing. Or basically maybe ace king with the ace of hearts, something like that. That he doesn't know what to do and just want to get it in. So I think ace king of hearts or maybe of course he can have some vulnerable king ten of clubs of course also. Or straight, yeah, okay, so the straight also, yeah, so it's really nutted hand, of course. And this guy just overplays, so he's a really bad fish who overplays. And this, I just, I don't need a label to see it, I know he's extremely strong. Especially when he shoves on the clean turn, it means he's, he needs more protection also. Because yeah, if he has like a really good flush, he's gonna try and lure him in with like a 20 big blind bet, I think. 
And he holds. <clears throat> Alejandro, I got to go. Go, good luck, man. Going to play a 150k guaranteed live tourney. Thank you so much for being here, Alejandro. Nice to have you. Good luck in your tournaments. Hope for a nice, nice bink. And then maybe you can teach teach us us fishes how to play poker. So tell us next time, Alejandro, how it went. I'm gonna call the Luna for us. Uh, he has 21 big blinds. I have ace queen. He just calls. I'm all in. So unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. If they give me this turn and I'm like dead, it's insane. I just can't get even value. Uh, here he bet big. He bet half with two pair. Then on the four, he just he's just a fish also. Sorry, but seriously, they bet their hand every time. The strength of their hand. So when he went half pot, so I check again with the ace here. He just snaps big. I just call. I'm going to check call any river. <laughs> He's not bluffing. Uh. So boring. Just snap checking back when they have. They think they have showdown. Yeah, so he checks. So they only bet when they have... So he checks back the, the flush draw. And then when I check the ace, he actually goes for it and wants to represent the, It's such a... It's... Everything is just wrong. Everything is wrong. Uh, just trying to check down. So this guy, I've been uh, check-raising on turn. Now he's probably playing a bit more careful. He's never bluffing. I don't think he checks... He could. He, he never has a bluff. I'm gonna write actually, yeah. Zero bluffs. I, I was thinking if I should uh, race and convert it into a into a uh, bluff. That's eight. Uh, but then I was like, he can still check back twice now with a really bad king also when he's on it. Uh, he calls here and, you know, we get the ace. Let me guess, he just three outed us. He's gonna have ace four and stuff, like around th these cards. He should do a lot of checking here, if he goes big. Uh, this is Macalura, this is Marquinho. So, you know. Uh, the difference between me and them is I overbet three or four times against him with, uh, with a bluff. And he's not doing it with bluffs. He doesn't understand the concept when to overbet, I think. He, he shouldn't overbet there. It, it's not a... He doesn't understand. He just doesn't. They don't understand. And <clears throat> so here I don't even remember. Yeah. So he opened. I three bet the fish. I think I'm gonna. He not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm giving him all his stack. If he has a queen there and just plays it cool, I'm gonna give him all the stack. Uh, I'm just uh, raising a top pair with second kicker versus the maniac. It's not a super bad uh, turn actually, but. He's still gonna have ace king and stuff. One big blind. Uh, I, it's, I can't win. He has 57% VPIP. He has 57% VPIP. They give me the 10 high board with king 10 versus a maniac. Random maniac. It's so insane. It's so insane. It's the only way they can. It's the only way. And it's only against the brown marks also. On the flush dynamic board. Flop. Whatever. <laughs> Viliami says, uh, nice, I play uh, 0, 0, 2 and 0, 0, 5 blinds, just started, so 5 and L, you're playing 5 and L. Nice uh, to have you here though, hope uh, that you can learn a lot and see a bit how, what lines to take. So you just started with poker, like completely new to the poker, everything, Viliami?
Already playing 5 and L. I mean already. Maybe you skipped the 2 and L. I don't know, of course. But uh, 5 and L is not uh, easy these days online. If you just started. I mean, uh, so... So you have a lot to... You will learn a lot there. Uh, if you can beat... Start and beat the, the 5 and L, you're gonna print if you're gonna start and play uh, live poker. I swear to God. <clears throat> just checking back here because there's no value. If they bet, or, if they block here, I have to convert them into bluff. But I'm done doing that. Advanced plays. You just let them hit the three outer again. It's the only way. You literally get like brain dead here. Yeah, I, I think you get like brain dead here when you can't bluff catch. Uh, getting 3 bet now. Uh, we're just gonna fucking raise here. Top air, top kicker, and limp pot. Uh, cold call. So I'm calling a 3 bet with hands up there. They all call, of course, because I'm probably just dead. I'm just gonna check down. It doesn't matter. This guy is probably gonna win with a random river now. He's probably gonna 2 power on the river. Yeah, he probably has like 5 3 or something. I swear to God, I'm never gonna win this. I just know it. I just know it. Don't bet. Just check behind. I lost again, guys. I lost again. So he donks with a bad open end. I, I don't have any words. This guy checked. Um, I think he's stronger. I checked back. I called the 3-bet. He checked. I checked back. He went 3 quarters on turn. I'm folding every river now. Folding every river. He has... Uh, he has uh, jacks plus only. It's so strong. It's so insanely strong to check uh, when you really lose. Uh, when you have three bet, it's insanely strong. He think he's whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna be able to show down my tens here in these stakes. Uh, you know. So it doesn't matter. We'll get him another time. <coughs> yeah, it's too. It's uh... What can you say? Uh, remember guys also if you're new if you have missed it I have uh, created a discord channel you have the link in the top uh, of my description on the YouTube uh, stream And uh, where we can talk poker, talk real life stuff, live poker, hand analysis, try and uh, improve each other, you know, try to help each other, uh, help each other out and get better in everything. Also in, in life and like set goals and whatever, talk about it. What do you do? How do you do it? You know, there's a lot to learn. So uh, make sure that you join it. Uh, I can't call here. Unfortunately. <coughs> Opening ace and the queen of the off suit. Of the off suit. Getting a cold call again versus the fisk. Uh, just going 23% when we don't have it. I'm uh, getting squeezed. The thing is, I either, I probably should. I, th It's so boring. I, I The easy thing that I should do in this takes is probably just to fold. But, you know, sometimes I need to be, uh, because he's really loose. Uh, he, we're probably running into now some folding, of course, versus an all in and never doing it again. Yeah, now we just he, he must call everything, I think. If he has just called with ace king, I'm just puking or, or, or even aces. It's one combo left of aces. This is the worst. We have to call the all in, but it's the worst. Now we lose against ace jacks of diamond. No, not of diamonds, ace jack of hearts. I don't know if we can get value anymore. 
So he's gonna have what? What's he gonna have? I'm actually gonna check back. I can still have kings playing like this, queens. I think I'd, I'd rather check back this. Uh, he can still have jacks. Yeah, he's, he goes for value even. You see how fast he went when he has value? Yeah, when they check back. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna write. So he was loser, of course. Three bet. Uh, squeeze IP button off. I'm <sighs> yeah. I mean, you see their line, how capped they are, and then when he has a really good hand, he's gonna shove all in. So I could have shoved there, but I think he's gonna overfold even the ace. He's gonna fire in the fold with ace five because I'm gonna check all my ace king and ace jack and ace queen on that uh, turn. <laughs> so when when I check. Again, I need also to protect my kings and queens. I think even if it's lower stakes like this, but I I think even they understand you're going to have like kings and stuff there. But you also saw I'm, I'm always going to fold against them when I have kings and stuff there when he goes that. Uh, you see how fast and confident he was. ID says, uh, just wondering, buddy, I don't have any connections to any CFP. All right, man, no problem. Yeah, so I, I've thought about it. When was it? It was before I went full-time, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I looked it up and thought about it, but you know, in Sweden, yeah, we're gonna raise this. When he goes fast, we just go fast. This is value. He's gonna have worse queen X also. Doesn't matter if the jack X is there, he's not gonna have the straight guys. I'm 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 he's saying what he has when he blocks so small. Uh yeah, so I thought about it, but then also being in Sweden and they want to like see the rake back and, and stuff, and we don't have it here, so they don't offer it to Sweden. It was a bit complicated. Uh but basically also you need to like have played on uh, certain sites a lot. And say at like 50 NL, 100 NL. Uh, and I didn't have the, those numbers also on. Uh, but it, it's, int it's, it's a really interesting concept, man. It's a really interesting concept. I, I, I think I could do that. Not right now, of course. But uh, I think I there are moments in my poker journey that where I could, could have done that, actually. I think it's pretty good in certain situations. But, you know, you have to look at the overall stuff. How long would you, like, be bound? Uh, Etc. Uh, here I'm probably gonna fold when he goes bigger. Yeah, they ne they never let you bluff. It's so boring, actually. Um, here I'm going for a delayed. He just snap folds. Uh, calling a three bet here with tens again. We just can't get to showdown with tens. He's gonna also bet all the ace king now with one diamond, so it's so hard to play this board. It's really hard for him also, depending on what he has. I I have to call one, but you know, it's actually a pretty good. Uh, it's not the worst because he has to check if he bets here. It's in extremely strange. It's extremely bad sizing, and it, he should do a lot of checking here. It's insane. He makes tens fold on queen queen three dues. Do you understand, guys? Do you understand? Yeah, I, I don't have any words. He just snap calls here. So basically, he doesn't care. He can still have flush draws even if I block it. Yeah, I get there. I don't know if I can go all in. I can get the fold again when I get there. Yeah, then it's whatever. Whatever. So, three betting here. Betting top pair. Small versus... What is this? Two kind of fishes? One at least. <laughs> and here we have queens versus the guy that never folds, and now he actually folds. Uh, now I'm actually gonna pot control and have a bit of strong uh, top pairs, so I'm actually checking now. Uh, here we call a squeeze, so he sque I open 3x, this guy cold calls, this guy squeezed to 16, it's the guy with ace 5. Now he goes really small and this guy just i'm not gonna shove i think uh, back here i'm just gonna call and back here we're just calling because we have taken this line uh, he should bluff 
everything, but they don't just bluff here. It's so unfortunate. I have top pair and get the brick river. Uh, we're just going for it here. Uh, he's... I have to call, but we're running into a set. Yeah, it's so I, I have zero words now. Uh, also the tank, and it folds ace queen here. So everything I do is... It literally doesn't matter, basically, what I do. It literally doesn't matter. So here he donks in the big blind half, and donks again half. I have the open ended and the second pair. He's probably donking a bad eight, but... <laughs> Uh, I have zero words, so he cold call a 3-bet with aces in position, I get top pair, I'm just gonna check back. Okay, at least we won that. It's so insane. It's literally so boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. You get, when you have the top pair in a 3-bet pot, you get the guy that only cold calls with aces on the button, who's extremely loose. You get the king high flop, get the brick turn, you check it to keep uh, every bluff in. You get this perfect brick river where it needs to bluff. You just run into it. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. They don't have a bluff. They've never had a bluff. It's so freaking boring. Call call 3 by button. Uh -uh. It's so boring. It's literally so boring. You can never... When they do the last barrel, doesn't matter how many bluffs there are, how many... Doesn't matter. I'm just three betting here. Get the cold call from a short stack. Maybe he can squeeze. No, they just call. They should... So this guy doesn't matter. His stack. I, I should probably go extremely small because if he jams, I can still back do stuff. He should call everything. Just calling. They just call. I don't know, guys. Uh, I check back top pair. He snap bets half. He snap. I'm I'm showing the king. I'm folding even versus a maniac. Doesn't really matter. I have to go for value and, and stuff here. It's so insane. But we have the knit. But I just have to. You know, doesn't really matter. I have aces with the ace of spades, guys. I'm probably. I should check back here. Probably. I should probably check back here because he can have deuces and stuff. I. But I must value bet. I have aces. I have aces with a spade, I'm value betting it versus a tighter opponent. I'm probably gonna take a break or quit or something. Yeah, finally. He doesn't even 4 bet ace king, guys. He just snap calls down no matter what the board when he has top pair top kicker because he doesn't hit. So, open Akru U, call Trebe Murdue. Whoop. X second. So insane. I, I if I have Ace King and he and I still get the better river, I'm I'm folding. It's two face up. They play two face up. It's so I lose brain cells. I swear to god, I lose brain cells playing here. Uh, how many times have I here of all the top pairs today and stuff? It's so insane. <laughs> Defending big blind here versus a cold call. He snap. <laughs> I the theory you you call here, but he goes big into two people. You just the backdoors don't matter here. They literally don't matter. So this guy is probably gonna get to stack this guy. And I had a top pair against this guy, but he took the strongest line and went pot. Yeah, he's probably stacking. He, he's not bluffing. He has the over pair aces or kings or ace queen of spades or ace something like that. <laughs> Defending versus Sun it's big blind. He goes half, a stronger line, have to call because I have top pair. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just folding everything. Because they never do two barrel, that's the problem. I can fold there every day, I'm just snap folding, here. Here I'm showing, I, I was showing every time also. I was showing every time, he's never gonna get it. You saw how it went to 90%, he scrolled up also and went to 90%, it wasn't even three quarter. He didn't want to pot because he didn't want to scare me. It's so boring. It's the only way. You only get top pair when they have the three barrel cards. The three barrel hands. Whatever. Versus a really loose guy. The guy that just cold called aces. <laughs> when uh, in position, when we get top pair. Opening to 3x, he plays 42% of hands. Usually doesn't matter because either we run top pair into a better hand or we just get this.
flop when he has a7 suit and he's not folding when we're bluffing. So, let's go. <coughs> I'm 3-betting in position here. Everybody cold calls. I check back this flop because they're gonna be face up on turn. Yeah, they're just gonna never gonna let you check. I'm, I'm bluffing if he checks. He doesn't understand. Just fold. Just fold. It's... I just can't. I just can't. I got a three bet here. <coughs> I get the fold. I uh, getting queens here, table four, bottom left. Have to three bet, of course. The lose guy plays 44% uh, VPIP and is fish marked also. Gonna get a lot of falls, of course, when we three bet. Uh, when they go mean open blind versus blind, I'm just almost always raising no matter what they have. It's ex usually real weakness. He just snap calls when I don't have anything. I don't even know if I wanna make this into a bluff. Uh, actually, I wanna see Zan. I'm not gonna make it into a bluff. We can still counter like 4s and 5s and stuff. N not anymore, of course. I think he has a lot of pocket pairs. If he donks big, uh, it's never a bluff and you just fold. So he has a extremely a lot of pocket pairs. He has deuces, 5s, 6s and 7s. <laughs> it's so boring! It's so boring, guys. Sorry, it's so boring. It's so boring. They're saying what they have. I'm also not saying any other hands. I'm only saying pocket pair. Oh. And I'm thinking, can I make those hands fold if I bluff now? I don't think I can make those fold. I don't want to risk it, so, you know. And I also wanted to confirm my read. Again, I'm right with the read. Why is that, guy? Why is that? What is it? Like the eighth time today? Just today? Like, never wrong there in the reads. Jesus, so freaking boring. So if I'm complaining or saying something about the stake that I want to go up, it's because I get mentally ill here. I'm telling you. It's so boring. You can't bluff catch. When I'm folding a top pair, it's it's true. You know I'm right. Whatever. Three betting queens here and three betting queens here. Table. This is table six. He folds and table five. He's tanking. We're a bit deeper. 125 big blinds. <coughs> I don't know what to do versus a 4 bet even in these stakes. Uh, I literally don't know. Maybe you just fold pre. I, I don't I don't know. If it's fake tanking now, so I, I don't know. Imagine if he has jacks. Just one time. Imagine. Ah, this is... I, I can't. He's just fake. This is aces, I think. I think he has aces. I, I, I'm just calling ver with a... I just have to set mine. I'm just calling. So he has kings or aces. Here, here, here. It's just something he did there. I, I just know. He was fake tanking. I just knew it. So, uh, fake tank all way EP versus 3B. 3B. <coughs> it's so obvious. I, I'm, I, I'm not gonna get it in versus 4 bets in position. When they 4 bet in position, it's so strong, especially when they fake tank into the time bank and clicks it to 22 especially when you're deep and then all the queen jack suited everything else or sevens or tens they always only call it when you're deeper also it's so boring it literally is so boring i'm set mining with queens versus a four bet here in cash case yeah we're gonna talk about again where we so i call <laughs> I, I i three bet and this guy cold calls i'm gonna convert it into a bluff 50 jacks it's so boring it's literally so boring. Uh, I, I checked back here. I checked back here. 
Now he checks again. I, I think I have to convert it to the bluff when I block 8s also. I don't think he's fold a low flush, but he can still have jacks and 10s and 9s with a club, I think. I think my line looks extremely strong. Extremely strong when I check back that fast turn and then go really big. Yeah, I, I, I have to convert this into a bluff when they take the check line. I'm not good. I swear, guys. He can also have the low flushes. It's so fucking boring. It's so fucking boring that you have makes those exploits. <coughs> I'm gonna have to be bad here. Uh, he has uh, playing 86%. He has like, whatever, doesn't matter even. Call now. Call now and, and double me one time. Yeah, he's calling. I have Ace Queen versus a 90% VPIP who calls with 6 5 suit. So I've lost 7 out of 7 with his. He gets the perfect flop. Nice. Can I just go to. Ace, just be dead. Just be. Why can't they be dead on turn? Just give Ace. We held. We we won versus a 90% VPIP who calls an all in with 6 5 suit. So I have Ace Queen. We actually won one. So we have won one and lost like. I don't even know how many. Uh, this is... Do you call here? They never bluff though. I'm calling because I'm in position and blah blah blah. Man, I'm folding everything. This is the worst, worst, worst flop. He's still gonna bet kings, queens and jacks because they bet range because they don't have a good strategy. Uh, he has aces and or ace king. Uh, I'm just... Versus a bigger size probe, I have to call. But they're not bluffing, so it's so boring. And he snap bets here, of course. And you just... They're never gonna let you buff, so it's so easy. He's just blocking here, so so boring. Ooh, we saw bluff, nice, nice, nice. And actually, he went for block. Yeah, so when they bluff, they go small. That's also not a tell. It's so boring. <coughs> think about think think about this, guys. If you want to learn something. You call in position versus a 4-bet. So this guy 4-bet, you call in position. What 4-bet hands wants to check ace, deuce, 3, okay? And then actually wants to start betting the turn. And building the pot out of position on the deuce brick. Tell me which hands does it, especially when they're all nits. Especially in 4-bet pass and don't have bluffs. Just tell me. <coughs> No, I need to know. There, there are no bluffs. He has aces or basically ace, queen, king. I think ace is there. And he thinks he's trapping, but the, uh, the difference is when they trap, they can't do another check on the turn. That's their problem. They can never do another check on the turn. Uh, we're going to call with ace high versus him because this is a guy that actually can bluff. And there are a lot of draws now. Now the straights missed. The, I'm gonna hear a problem. Uh, everything is lagging. Uh, he goes pot. I'm gonna hero, but usually it's the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even him. He he had one bluff, but then it's enough. So pot on river is is nuts. Nice. Everything is lagging also. So pot, riv, donk, elikem and nuts. Okay, so even he didn't bluff there. Even he, guys. Even he didn't bluff there. I, I have no words. It's so demotivating, seriously, to play. Because you can't play real poker. I always have to deviate so much. So insanely much. That it's so boring. It's literally so boring. I'm calling down with ace high. Versus an aggro guy. And then... Oh, whatever, guys. <coughs> Get the fold, and here we bet big when they snap check. I actually think you can go smaller. I think he has the altos fold anyway. So we're heads up versus this guy, and here we're gonna open ace king offsuit. Uh, back here, heads up. So we're gonna move table. I don't have uh, time. Uh, Viliami says, Are you drinking vitamin, vitamin water? Not right now. So we're just shoving here, of course, versus short shacks. Uh, it's just water right now, but it's been vitamin water before. Uh, he min clicks and he plays every hand and they... Plays, yeah, 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 that's what I was, wanted to say. Now it's the ace flop when you have ace king and they fold. And then they call with 5-6 suited. Yeah, whatever. So we're moving table here.
<laughs> I have zero idea how we're doing today since all of the shorter stacks all ins were lost. Maybe we're break even or something like that if I had to guess somewhere around there. I don't think we're super up or down, but something in the middle, I think. Uh, opening 8 6 suited 4 way, so these guys were AFK, and especially with a knit on the button. Uh, Ace King suited here on the gun. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fish mark all of these. He calls. Have we ever won a big pot with Ace King? It's like these flops every time. And I'm not gonna bet range or something against them. They're just gonna tell me what they have every every turn. So I just overfold turns, and then when check again, I am actually bluffing like almost everything, and then just fold 99% of the time. Uh, defending big blind here. Maybe we're gonna check raise. Depends on sizing. The blockers doesn't matter here, but you just you know. If it goes half, I'm also gonna do it because half can actually be. Yeah. So he doesn't want to make you float and stuff. Uh, so when they're tanking and they then don't go 30%, but they want to go half, but they scroll down from half and actually go three, it looks like they want they don't want you to float, but they want to look like they're stronger. So they bet. I I just know what's going on. Let's let let's say like that. I know what's going on. Yeah, I'm just betting one big blind in a lame pot versus two. One mega fish and one fish doesn't matter. I'm probably dead. Never win the limp pots. Let me guess. He wanna build the pot now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I should probably fold. I'm calling because he plays every hand, but uh, you know, he's probably snapped recording, and I'm uh, probably yeah. No pot even. Pot even. The 75% VP. I have topper and still have to fold. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna brown mark him. Uh, can snap. Thing. Yeah. Turn, snap, pot, rib, ingen. It's perfect that they show me. If you're a guy like that, that actually shows, uh, sorry, bets really random and plays really aggressive, etc., you should never show a bluff. If, you, if you're not good enough to... I swear to God, you should never show. It's a mistake for him to show there. So unfortunate. I versus Nitz, I open every two. Uh, I get the call versus two fishes. So you can't bluff into them because they're gonna call like fives with a diamond also here and he just donks pot into everybody zero cents so he probably has like jack nine suited or something jack nine offsuit <coughs> defending big blind here on cutoff he snap checks backs a lot of asex uh we just have to call our equity uh yeah he's gonna have, we have to call our equity and donk here We have to dunk because he's gonna check back like ace. It doesn't matter what I because they don't bluff enough anyway. So you're gonna you have to dunk when you hit there. And sometimes I'm gonna have like king queen ten of hearts and also can dunk like that. <coughs> they, they're also value betting. Also the snap check back on uh, this flop can also be king queen and stuff. Sometimes it's too fast and then he's waiting and still betting. He's still. B He's still batting a queen x for value on the turn instead and gets a bit mad because he's an ace. So he's just ready to snap check back so much here. So I'm just trying to get value from an ace x or a queen that doesn't believe you or something.
Ba -ba -ba. Getting king queen here versus uh, one uh, fish and one super fish. <coughs> he just cold calls again. He cold calls literally every time I open. I swear. Don't make me like this when I have king queen versus them. Now. The thing is, they're they're just calling draws and gotcha, so you know, <clears throat> they're never raising them. But the only raise they can have that they think is a bluff. Uh, now I'm gonna actually do this. I don't care. I, I have to get first to call. He can. He's still calling nines, etc. It's so boring. I, I'm blocking like this, and uh, nice run out as usual. Uh, so what ace x is he's gonna have? Like ace x of hearts, of course. Yep. You have to fold there. Have to lose another. Just have to lose. You just have to lose. It's just I'd rather do that route and always uh, fold to the race than actually check call. <coughs> it's much more profitable. Jokitic, oh my god, he's back and he just since again, guys, he never tree bets. So look at his. Uh, he's really fishy. He's really loose and plays a lot in position, but he never tree bets. So when he tree bets, it's extremely strong. It's extremely strong. You have to differentiate about the uh, VPIP and uh, knowing. When when they 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 can still be really tight post flop. He still continues. Same thing here. He just did it. We just have to fold, guys. Trust me. You fold again. You fold until he stops. You fold until he stops because he's, he's just having cards. It's not like oh, but he just trip. No 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 no. Trust me. He always has something. He trips three percent of the hands. He always tries to see the other the other uh, flops. He's just trying to see the flops. The other hands. He's just trying to hit something, hit a straight, hit something. The cold four, yeah, okay. Jokic, welcome back to the stream, man. What's up? Yeah, it's... We're tilting, the tilt emote, you know? Uh, here I folded sixes versus the donk, but now I remember that this is the random fish that donks. But I'm still gonna fold sixes, I think, when I have two undercards to the... You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean, right? Da, da, da. Uh, defending here, big blind versus uh, cutoff. Is this a fish mark? No, it's not even a fish mark. Uh, I have two pair here though. I'm just gonna call. Uh, here he snap checks back. I'm, I'd rather bluff the river because usually they, when they check back flop, they wanna bet the turn. They don't have the nuts. They have some kind of decent. Uh, I'm just betting one big blind here. Uh, and here I think I raise now, maybe ace, I just do this, I, I must raise versus this guy, he plays 50% VP. he's gonna overvalue, um, it lags, it lags, it's lagging, I can't do anything, reconnecting it says, come on, I'm in a big pot with two pair again versus a fish, come on, Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? What's happening? Oh my god. Yeah, I have internet. Come on, I'm in a big pot. Why exactly now? I've been folding for one hour. Fuck. Let's see if internet... I mean, internet works. Everything works on my computer. Everything works. Everything works. So insane. It's so insane. It's so insane. It's so insane. It's so insane. I'm in a bit pot. It's so boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. I'm just gonna pause the. Oh, I'm back. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'm back. I'm back at this table, right? Do I have the reconnection? Uh, come on. Everything is online here. Just fold the other hands. It doesn't matter. At least the ace eight. Imagine if it actually registered, so I, I raised there 21 and he shoves Ace King there and I'm reconnecting. It's so fucking boring. I probably have to do something. I have to look something up here because it's so insane. So I'm watching my stream here with the delay. I see it's still live. So fucking insane. We're gonna see what happens on the stream as soon. Yeah, everybody seems though to have gotten it. Look, look at this. They also have reconnecting issues. Oh, now we're back. Now we're back and the hand is over. So let's look at the hand. Let's look at the hand. Tell me he folded at least or something. I mean, it looks like we won, right? But it lags. 
it lags. But can you like play like this? It's something wrong with GG. Is anyone else playing on GG? Look at this. You. Oh, he showed. What did he show him? Oh my God, guys! He called. So he called. Look at this. He called when I was AFK with the pair and the flush draw. And then I get countered on rivers, so it doesn't matter. And then check, check. He didn't know I was AFK, of course. So we, we won that. We got the, the race also in, it looks like. Yeah, we got in the race, but come on, seriously. He's not... As I'm telling you, they're not shoving the, the, the draws. They're not shoving the draws. Only the premiums. Uh, here, I'm just gonna call one. I'm countered, maybe I'm gonna raise, depends. I'm gonna overfold a lot. I think I'm gonna go like this. <coughs> nice. Four high. Jokicic says, I'm doing battle with the bots on ACR, uh, ACR today. Good luck, man. I know that feeling. <laughs> the bot battle, you know. I mean, it wasn't a problem with our internet. I'm looking at the stream right now. We're online everywhere. All the other uh, sites works for me. My phone works. Uh, it was something with GG there or something. So it's strange. It's like the third time today. Three batting King Jack suited him. At least we got the value there from the... But imagine if he, bets, he blocks like one big blind. I'm, I'm raising versus this random click. Uh, and here he called the 3-bet out of position. I'm going halfish. It's really bad board, but you know. Uh, he folds the king, queen here. I have to check back this because of the. I'm still going to have my big uh, pocket pairs. Uh, but he's going to... Yeah, he's sizing. He's just betting his side. He's not letting me bluff. So it doesn't matter. If he checks it, I'm going for it. He doesn't let me bluff. It's so easy to play. It's insane. And so fast, half pot in the four liner, medium discount. No, no, no! Come on, guys. They're... What can you say? Uh, Jason Lewis says GG went down when I was in a pot too. Really frustrating. Yeah. Okay. So it's something wrong. It's something going on with the GG service then. Okay. It's really frustrating. Yeah. It's it really is. It really is. Watch a big pot also. Uh, but as you saw, also in the 8-7, uh, I'm actually going to bet for value here, so one big blind. If he raises, I'm calling. Really frustrating because, uh, yeah, you know. When he went big, you saw that he had, the worst hand he had was a pair and a flush draw. So th they're just betting their sizings, you know. Yeah, everything is back now, so it should be cool now. So the timer was there. No, 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 timer, it reset. Oh my god. Does anybody. I have to look at the stream. How much? 219. Okay. So I'm gonna be back in two minutes. I'm gonna leave the tables here. Uh, I'm sitting out next big blind and I just take a two minute break. And then I can fix my time thing here in the meanwhile. So two hours and 20 minutes. It's. 120. 140. 140 minutes, right? One forty should be good. Uh, I think I call here. Actually, I actually think I call here. Yeah, I must call here, right? How can I? He can. No, no, no. He. They don't bluff, but yeah, yeah. They never bluff, so it doesn't matter. So I think it's 120. No, that's two hours, right? Yeah. Plus 20, it's 140. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I must rebat here, of course. Uh, his short stack is opening to 5x. I'm just clicking, basically. <coughs> um. He just calls and he's probably gonna dunk a bad ace now. Uh, he called the all-in with King Queen. He limped and called 20 big blinds. Yeah, he just. Uh, I'm actually folding here. I'm actually folding. Look, look. He can't even get value. He can't even get value against Jax because he just had a bad suited ace with 20 big blinds. He just calls it and then actually wants to play his half of his stack. 
It's so boring. It's literally so boring, guys. I have no... I should shove there every time. I should just shove there. Why do I even let him... He's not gonna put the rest of his stacks on unless he hits. So he's still calling. It's... I don't have the words. I don't have the words. I don't have the words. <coughs> Uh, I'm betting here again. Uh, just snap falling at him. Because you can't go. I went for double and he raises. Nobody raises him. And here I go for it. So you always bet a pair until they raise. That's the strategy, guys, okay? Bet on with for value until they raise. Unless you have the nuts. That's the strategy. It's so boring. It's so boring. But unfortunately, that's the strategy. <coughs> unfortunately, it is. Jason says, the balance has gone on mine, though. I mean, we're just flipping here. 10 big blinds doesn't matter. Yeah, just running into 10-7 when he is a maniac playing 90% of hands just with 10 big blinds left. What can I do? Just 7. 7. 3 outs. No, never, never. Yeah, just get the not flush draw again, just in case I hit the seven of hearts, right? Whatever. Doesn't really fucking matter anyway. Split something. Queen. One time. No, never. Just doubling up the maniacs. Just literally doubling it up. I have no words against the short stack. I have the nuts here, though. I'm checking twice. He snap checked back. He's a... Gonna check race big, of course, but it doesn't matter. We're just doesn't really matter. Yeah, so he goes big. If he checks, if he checked back King Jack or something, he can overvalue also. Like he can overvalue a worst uh, two pair or something, right? Nope. Snap fold when I have it. Can never get value. Yeah, I really need to take two minutes. It's so. I, I, it makes me sick looking at these stakes. It makes me sick how they play. They're so scared and chicken. They're literally chickens, little chickens. Pfft. Yeah, right. Uh, gonna take two minutes. Uh, gonna leave the tables on like this so you see the timer. Be right back.
Right, I'm back. <sighs> Let's see if we have the balance left on GG. Uh, actually, I don't want to see it, I think, because I want to know. I don't want to know how much if we're up or down. <clears throat> uh, Jason Lewis, uh, if you're still here, is uh, the balance back or how is it? No, three bet ace, queen off here, blind versus blind. This is the guy that mean open the uh, sevens blind versus blind. <clears throat> Calls again, probably. I don't think we need, I, I literally don't think we need to bluff anything here versus this guy. He's also pretty. Is it him though? No, it's not him. I'm not gonna start and bluff Ace Queen anymore. Uh, and those more advanced plays. Uh, when he dogs here big, where I rather bet now. He can still have tens and nines and stuff. Just snap on. Maybe I go for value on River. Let's see. But here I'm squeezing with Jack ten suited, uh, and here I'm three betting with Kings. Uh, I think I can still value bet. We get this fold with Jack 10 bluff. I, I must go for value here, I think. And we get the fold with Kings, unfortunately. <laughs> if he has like. He can say like Queen Jack and Queen Jack, Queen 10 suited. Ki I, I have no words. He calls a 3 bet out of position with King Jack off. Takes the passive line when I get the second pair top kicker again. And he takes the passive line on. Re no, I don't have any words, guys. Sorry. I'm never good. I'm literally never the uh, I mean open Bababan Koye O call Drebe Oop X X top bar X call turn X rib it's it's I, I'm 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 literally done now, sorry. It's boring. I must change I must do something because this is brain dead. It's literally brain dead. This is brain dead. You, this is brain damage. You're 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 like you you get also punished again when they play like that. It's that that's the Sad part, you get punished also and they get rewarded. Here we just check down Ace Jack in the big blind and he check, 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 check. He snap three. <clears throat> uh, not, I'm not doing anything when they bet, literally. I'm, I'm literally not doing anything. He can still have kings. Uh, here we call a squeeze with 8 7. And here we have kings. <clears throat> and here we 3 bet a really loose guy opening. Uh, maybe we should go bigger actually versus him, but you know, we're gonna see. Here he just snap half into everybody, so you know, we just fold versus ace king. He's so bad, it's insane. He doesn't understand when he can get value. Here we 3 bet kings. And we get the fold with ace 6 suited 3 bets. And uh, we get the fold with kings. <clears throat> Some blues here for ya. <clears throat> uh, opening nines here, getting the cold call again against me and Chippa Chippa. I'm just going half versus him. Actually, I'm going big. I don't give a f anymore. He just snap calls. He's gonna have a lot of ASX that does this. I, I can never win against him. It doesn't matter. Uh, these guys are always gonna win. And also, if he bets, he always. He has like all the sets playing like this, you just have to fold there. It doesn't matter what he has. It's the worst hand he's gonna have, so it doesn't matter. It's it's just good. 
show a bluff yeah show 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 the bluff uh, what sizing did he go though so insane just snap calling in position with the gut shot well, let me see turn he should never show me because i'm gonna take real notes and remember stuff so here with three bet out of position we get this flop we're gonna get it in with the back door of course usually they just jam when uh, i have missed with ace queen uh, and they have value so you know let's see yep nice uh, i'm actually checking this i'm gonna do it with aces and also and stuff he just checks back uh, i'm just trying to like I'm, maybe i'm gonna hear actually so boring because he's gonna have like he's, he's like he has like 5x and stuff now yeah king 10 even oh it's so insane because he, he's just trying to hit and it's so obvious he's gonna bluff and then they go really small on river when they when they have king high yeah so just random guy so let's write that seven so cold calls cold calls mp 772 snack call Oka plus Gs snap. What what sizing did he go on turn there on table two? He should never have shown me. That's the biggest mistake. Uh, turn he went like two thirds. Yeah, two thirds for a uh, turn on the X. All right, but I'm not gonna turn. I mean, it would be interesting to see what he does if I call the ace. The ace turn with nines there, and when he has seven high on the river. <laughs> it would be would be interesting to see if he barrels off the last one, you know. I think he just checks back. Usually they just hit the gut shot though, so it's okay. So set versus set here. <coughs> uh, I have a set here. Uh, so I need them to overvalue like overpairs. So if he go three quarters, I'm gonna raise actually, but you know, it doesn't really matter here. It, that, it literally doesn't matter here. You, you, they, he, this guy never has a hand here when he checks. I just have to hope that he has some eight deck, some, you know, so boring, so boring. They're just gonna snap fold, it's always. Uh, but this is also how you bluff. So when they, the preflop against the checks. Oh, there's his card though. There's the ace king, I think. I think it's the ace king now. This is the ace king. Nope, never. A nice river. The nine of diamonds on the river when you have the set. Yeah. Even if you had the ace king or whatever, he, he he's not calling anymore on that river. So, such a terrible river. Whatever. Da -da 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 -da. The amount of uh, AIDS plays you see today. <clears throat> yeah, and then they get to stack the ace. F um, let me guess. King Queen will win. Yep, yep. So they get to stack the 90% VPIP guy <coughs> when he's ahead. And then when he calls versus me. No, no, no. I don't have any words. It's, it's just, you know, it's beyond the. We're gonna look at the biggest hands also when, when I end the session, as I've said. Uh, here, I'm actually gonna do this. When they go... When they go 2.8 versus a limp, they're usually weaker. Another tell for you guys. Uh, we defend big bind here. I'm just gonna call. Let me guess, the third guy in position is gonna call now when I have the ace pair. Alright, so, four liner, snap check, check, check. Yeah, I, I don't know how can I get value anyway, he's not bluffing when he misses queen jack, so it doesn't really matter. He's just, they're just random, they're stabbing one time, then they don't care anymore, so. <clears throat> uh, I'm just calling. I could raise, but I'm just calling because I'm just isolating myself every time versus the overpairs and sets, so it doesn't really matter. Even. <sighs> just folding a queen. 
you can't continue versus these guys when they double. Especially when the flush turn, when he's to check like he's checking like 95% of the times. Here I just win. They're not bluffing. He bet, bet one time with King 7 high. Here I 3 bet to 12. He calls. <coughs> he's probably gonna snap call <coughs> because I have a bluff. Or basically we just run into we're gonna bluff it off and uh, into the loses. We got the fold, guys. So so when they when they when they get the flush card on the turn and they keep on betting and half and out of position, they're gonna check that card so often. It's so obvious what they have. You you never it's I don't have any words. <coughs> da, 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 da. Ooh, huh. Yeah, just ace king versus ace jack here. <coughs> so ace jack nuts versus ace king that can't fold on flush. It's uh, then they both had it. It's nobody's bluffing there. They both just value betting each other. It's just cooler versus cooler. It's the only way here. When money goes in, such a boring stake here. GG 25 L. Such a boring stake. I mean, you can win. As you see, I'm winning it. I'm like whatever. I'm dominating it. The only way they stack me is, is the cooler. It's, but it's so boring to play. It's so boring to play. That's the only thing. <coughs> I probably just have to fucking bet there. Because, you know. And this is a fish. And I get the fold. <laughs> Getting three bet bigger, snap folding, opening fives here on the cutoff. Uh, three betting ace eight suited uh, getting a three bet here gonna call he goes bigger also this is not so good for him actually I uh, get the fold there with ace eight <coughs> so if he goes small we continue if he goes anything else it's probably just gonna get worse first let me get he has exactly ace king and the ten king or ace river this is so strong to do. He can have queens here. It's so strong, especially from a lose guy, to actually 3-bet and then go in check mode. And then snap 3-quarter dot. It's so obvious. It's it's so easy to get out of. They're never gonna get value. It's so insane. So insane. So boring. And they, they don't even fake tank anymore on the turn. They just, you know... <coughs> We're gonna call. We're gonna have an iron him if we have to start in four bets, even eights for value soon, but you know. Uh, okay. Same thing here. I'm gonna double check if he checks. No, I'm gonna raise immediately. So he's gonna fold a lot because he has a lot of air. I think if I shove, it looks weaker. He, he's never gonna fold ace, aces, etc. Yeah, he has the overcard or ace jack. I think it's gonna call more with exactly over over what did I say? Over pairs. I think it's gonna call more when you just shove there. So it's non GTO, but I just know he has the over pair there. Nice. It's so it's so obvious. It's so boring, but it's so boring, guys. It's so boring because it's so obvious. So I'm checking back queens here, like nobody in these stakes would ever do, and I get the four liner, of course. Uh, if he goes three quarters, I'm gonna fold. Yep. Folding queens here. 
it's just so boring. I just no, don't know what to say. Because they don't take those lines again. <laughs> so he's going to call any Jack X now. If he raises, it's incredibly strange. But usually they can do it when you go small two times. They get triggered. The, the check snap call is so weak also. Whatever. <coughs> Whatever. I should probably fish mark them all, basically. It's so obvious, so... Uh, so... Now oh, it's 3 bag on a 6 versus min. IP, like me coco. Log it. Call raise, call drop up, call min. Oh, turn. <coughs> it's so boring that I can shove there. I, I should just shove. Because it's so boring that I know that he has ace, jack plus, and over pairs there. When he had kings and I had the set eights. That I can just shove there because he called a raise, so it's never gonna fold. So it looks weaker for me when I shove. It's so boring because I don't want to play a set like that, but I have to here to get the max value. So, you know. <clears throat> so I, fo I folded queens to one bet. How sick is that? It's, <laughs> it's these exploits, man. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get in queens, but I don't feel uh, we just have to hope he has uh, ace queen and shoves it uh, ace king and shoves it This is the only way they can win is if they have kings or aces now. It's the only way but now I have queens for the you know <coughs> We take it down. It's okay getting ace king here So I'm gonna three bet this guy <clears throat> if this guy opens and this guy cold calls I'm also gonna three bet because of uh, I just have to take away if I call if you start to cold call ace king here uh, Getting aces he limps blind versus blind. I make it four. He snap calls uh, Back here, so we get the cold call of a three bet here. So he's gonna have a lot of pockets here uh, Here I'm just going I just clicking something. He's just random uh, We get this flop he checks I check he's still gonna have sevens nines and tens here with aces We get the fold back to here just check down We don't have to do anything not put a one more dime. So he's just gonna he's still gonna have eights. He's still gonna have jacks actually uh, He's still gonna bet tens I think and nines like this <coughs> So you can trap also a lot when you double check, but I've already talked about it, but when they never four bet and stuff and they just play in position try to play in position with So easy when they have it, you know, you don't have to bluff them <clears throat> uh, we're gonna have an eye on this guy. I don't know what to mark him yet. I'm gonna yellow mark him. He has six on the big blinds. He's tree bending a lot, it looks like, etc. He's uh, taking always the aggress aggressive route also when he tree bets. So let's have a. It's gonna be fun if we have a play like that. And we also two on the big blinds effective. You could actually... I'm just gonna defend the D-Sticks, it's so boring anyway, so... You just try, yeah, to get the check down, and when they bet, you overfold, yeah. So he has ace, ace high, exactly. If he checks again, ace high, 100%. It's so boring, it's so boring. I'm literally crying, it's so boring. The... So when he bets that king, and especially bigger, you always know he has the king. It's so boring, it's so boring, and he's never gonna have the flopped sets, because they always bet. It's... It's... I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Uh, here I'm always batting hands like this on these boards. 23%. Uh, I, I'm not... It's super profitable, of course, but we're gonna have an eye on him, but you don't have to call anything here when they do that. It's extremely few people that's gonna start and mean-click you. 
Uh, we have a queen versus a cold calling the small band. You can actually, you could actually like check back and pot control versus him. I'm gonna do that. Here I call a donk, so small blind donks. I have the top pair. Just check snap checking. Just check snap checking. Yep, just a, just you know, he just has it. He just has it, and we have to get the split when we're ahead. So he overbets. I'm probably gonna fold. I think. I'm just folding overbets. <coughs> he has a set probably. You don't have to call down here, especially overbets. So he he lo losing value. He's just losing that. It's so boring. He has a set or two pair there. It's so boring. Uh, and as I said, when you dominate them with the top pairs, they get saved with the three out river, four out river ace. He's gonna split it. Just immediately donks. It's it's. I I have no words. So he's a fish also. I have to fish mark him also. So call call. But was it offsuit or not offsuit? Let's see. Uh, Queen Jack suited. Yeah. So he just called calls. I have to call here. It's so insane because I can hit a straight flush. Yeah, I can hit a straight flush. It's the only reason. It's literally the only reason I'm folding there all day. If I can't hit the seven of uh, the back door, the runner runner straight flush and stuff, it's so boring. Doesn't really matter. So as you saw with queens, you try to pot control, etc. But it doesn't matter. They're gonna build a pot anyway so hard when they... It's gonna be interesting to see here what they have though. I'm never good though. All the 10 x uh, are gonna bet also. Never good. Never good. Look at them, what they're betting. Look what they're betting, guys. And I still lose. Whatever. The ace-9 offsuit called calls wins. So he bets small. We're gonna call all the way, probably. Uh, I'm actually gonna dunk when the flush gets there. He can still check back um, ace-jack. Uh, sorry, jack-x. Yes, I know. Because with the snapped uh, check back turn, it's so obvious. It's a, He's trying to pot control a top pair. It's so obvious. It's so easy. <coughs> It's so easy. The snap check bet turn is so strong, guys. <clears throat> uh, we're shoving ace king offsuit here, so we get opened and the cold call of the three bets. He's a fish, so this is a fish random. Uh, this guy just cold calls, he's also another fish. We just have to shove Ace King here, of course. If he's gonna go like Ace 10 suited and stuff. Uh, he calls, so we should be ahead a lot. He's still. Please. I've lost everything today against these randoms. He still calls. Just bring him dead. Just let him be dead one time. Please, just. Just let them be dead one time. Or just let them be dead one time. Just let them. Just let me win one of these one time versus the random maniacs cold calling all ins with fives. I'm gonna do the same with queens. And I swear to God, I'm just shoving there so much with also so with ten souls. I'm just taking it and shove it there versus same setup. It's so lucky that. So boring. It's so boring. It's the ninth all in now versus the random fishes. It's the ninth time you outplay them you outplay them it's the ninth time it's the ninth time it's the only way they take away all the skill edge when they get the all in pre it's so boring and i still lose it so i've been again tens versus queen deuce all in like that i lost today i was nines versus uh, ace ten lost was with eights versus uh, king queen lost uh was with uh now what was this ace king versus uh versus uh, fives lost i had queens versus aces lost all in pre also uh and i had ace queen all in pre versus ace king with he had 30 big blind maniac i lost that too just count those and then i won 120 big blind all in <coughs> that's it that's it it's the only it's every same thing every freaking sessions the brown mark pink mark lose aggressive just just wins all it doesn't matter if i have tens there and it's five by the way when i have tens he's gonna get the fight look at my graph we're gonna look at it we're gonna look at the biggest hands of the uh, tonight 
It's so demotivating because I don't want to be here on 25 and out. It's so demotivating. It's so demotivating. I, I, the only thing I care about is this 156 big blinds that he won. I have to regrind it now with skill on the side, which takes time, which is going to delay my where I want to be in 50, 100, 200, 500 and L. It's the only thing. Now he opens to a different sizing. <laughs> so demotivating so it's not the money in itself it's just that i can't win all ins pre versus the maniacs <sighs> opening eights the what's gonna call it versus him uh, we're folding everything because he's still gonna bet uh, kings, jacks, queens because he has a noob strategy, so he bets everything. So you just out of fold here everything. So boring. It's so boring. He can never get value. He doesn't understand. He will never get value. It's such a boring state. I can't describe her. Boy, I rather play on like a, I rather play like on ten and L or five and L on Poker Stars where you have can play real poker and bluff. I seriously say I'm I'm literally saying that I rather play lower but real poker than to stay like this and play this boring poker. where just you're just exploiting the same thing. You hear have to hear of all every pair and two pair when they raise because you can't beat the value that does it, and they never have. You know. Jeff Bellas Blazos, I learned what cap range meant. Very nice, man. Very nice. So I'm, I'm down with this guy. He's just uh, mean clicking every pot. He plays 90% VPIP. Uh, he doesn't care. I'm gonna bluff. Uh, I'm gonna lose another stack now. He's gonna have like a Jack 7 offsuit and just. I'm just all in. Nice, we got a fold. Let's we and we hit the nuts there. I was gonna say it before I showed. I'm just gonna, now we're gonna hit the nuts when he folds. I knew it already because it's. I just know it. I'm just know it. Now we're gonna hit the nuts when he folds. I just know it. Whatever. We're uh, we're gonna look at the same thing here. You have to fold. He probed on three quarters. Unfortunately, um, they're double missed draws. I can hope, but it's not. And this is just even worse. This is worse if he bets. Yeah, he can still have like. Quick, oh, then, now when he checks, he doesn't have a good hand anymore. So he has the, now he has queen x, or a missed draw. It's the only thing. If he sh yeah, queen x, queen x, one hundred percent. I can swear on my mama. I just know, because he went. I, I'm telling you, it still wasn't a bluff. Did you see? So the three quarter probe dog was a top pair, plus flush draw. And then when it got scary and he doesn't have the nuts anymore, he checks. So you know you're always good. It's so boring. It's literally so boring. I'm done. Sorry. We're going to look at the graph. Uh, we river the trip here. He just... I don't know how much to raise. I'm just going to freaking do this. He's blocking. <coughs> so he has exactly an ace when he's tanking like this. Like ace... Um, yep. Maybe even two pair. Maybe even sec. What? Eh, va? You check that? Uh, so he cold calls SPV button, king 8 suited, probe donk, second pair, 2BB, po abrada, call big race, big, big race. Wow, never bluff him. So I'm gonna write also, never ever bluff him. Uh, we just call here small. Never bluff him. He heroes. Uh, I'm actually gonna bet bound big blind because I can still get 7x and uh, a size to call now. But you can't even because they never. I. Uh, Jeff Belso says lol fives. Yeah, I did. You know. Uh, we're gonna look at the results. I just get handicapped here. I literally get. You know, it's uh, we lost like nine all-ins, I think, versus the Maniac short shacks. And I'm still telling you what they have. 
is so fucking boring. Uh, just opening here. Probably gonna get 3 bet now. No, nice. Uh, this is last here. So we can quit. And then we just have this table so I can start to take up Poke Tracker. So guys, uh, we played three hours, we had like a five minute break, so maybe, no, it should be good because I paused it, yeah, it's a good, we played exactly three hours, so just last last hands here, we get ace-king, we can still lose a buy-in. I don't even want to 4-bet anymore, because when I 4-bet, they just call with like, I'm just checking, I'm just... He's probably gonna dunk also when he has it, so... I can't express how bad they are. And the snap pots when you... <laughs> Let me... How do you fish mark everybody? Is there a command? Here. Fold. Okay, so... Pokecraft... Bada 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 bada. It's only money. I know, I know, Belsus. But you know, when you have lost 11 all ins today, also, uh, and you're saying the exact two hands every time, and you're right, and you still get punished, then. And I don't, I don't even need to be on 25 now. Do you understand? I don't even need to be here. I don't even need to play here. That's the thing. <laughs> so maybe I should find a game where I find more motivation for the... So I'm gonna download the hands now. Uh, we played 1,579 big blinds, uh, big blinds, hands. I haven't looked at the bankroll, so I don't know how it went. So we lost like 9 all-ins. Uh, we're probably still winning, if, if it's my guess. Which should say something. So let's drag them in here. Poker. GG Poker. And temporary. Here we go. Yeah, but come on, uh, also Jeff. When, when you can't bluff catch one hand, literally one hand, I've s you only look at the stream again if you missed it. You only see the nuts every time. And you have to hear a fault every time they take the strong line because they never... I still haven't seen a bluff today. I saw, yeah, I saw one bluff where he went 30% uh, on river, actually. He had ace 8 offsuit. I saw one bluff today. <coughs> so, we're gonna look at it. I'm gonna import hands. Temporary. Import. Ba da ba da bam 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 bam. Jokitich, how is it going with the bots on ACR? You, are you liking it? Are they showing the bluff? <laughs> the bluffs? Are they bluffing you? So we're gonna look at the graph, guys. Today, here it is. Yeah, lost uh, 1.7 binds uh, equity. Yeah, just uh, you know, three binds under EV. It's. You think I'm joking, Jeff? But you know, come on. It's so boring. It's so boring. I was ahead all the time, every all in. I'm already six binds under EV in lifetime. So, it this month. Sorry. So we need to run like a god for like six sessions in a row or something to just be 
whatever. Yes, three buy ins on the Rivi. Gonna look at the hands. <laughs> yes. uh, we're gonna think. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play on 8 at 8 poker uh, next time. I, I just can't. I'd rather play on. Also, I'd rather. I rather play on one K and L or whatever where you can bluff. I I rather play on one and L and you can bluff catch. Just not this, not this. I get mentally sick. It's just demotivating. So le let's see how you I lost today. Let's see how much. Let's look at the puns, guys. Uh, actually, I'm gonna mark them all so I can do like this and then like this. Uh, actually like this and eights and queen jack yeah we're gonna do like this play all all right guys I have king 10 I open he three bets you get the top pair top kicker he just called calls with Queens I donk because I misread the situation uh, as you saw on stream. I was speaking on stream. I thought that I had 3 bet this guy. How can I 3 bet this guy? Whatever. I thought that I was the pre flop aggressor when I looked really fast. So I bet my top air top kicker. Then I check, call, get the clean run outs. First bluff catch of the day. Only aces. Nice. Next time. Queen Jack. Three betting. Cold he cold calls a three bet with five nine suited. He calls. I get top pair. Versus, and he's a brown mark random, so this is value. Now I'm just shoving for value because he has called Queen Deuce offsuit all in. He's calls, I'm ahead. And uh, they wait until the river. We lost that too. Nice. Next hand. King four. Defending. Getting king for queen. I check. He bets. I raise. He shoves. I call. Nice. Next hand. Ace king. <laughs> you saw it. It was uh, quite recently. Uh, versus the maniac uh, shor shorter stack fishes. With the call call. This guy is so capped. I'm just shoving here. All in. And you saw what happened. He held of course. Nice. Next hand. Ninth. Let's go. Versus the maniac again. Uh, I'm just shoving versus the maniac because it, he has the uh, he has 20 big blinds and he has called down with so much random shit. He cold calls an all in with queen do suited. I have nines. Deuce deuce five. Let's go. I also get of course the club, so I have a really good amount of equity uh, considering he has trips. Nope. Nice. Next hand. <coughs> Ace queen versus a 50 big blind maniac. He opens the three. I just make it 15 to make him understand we're going all in because they're they're doing a lot of cold calls with like queen nine suited or whatever ten jack suited. He shoves. I call ace queen suited. Nope. Holds wins both here. Just give him the nut flush draw just in case. Just in case my queen of diamonds comes. Just in case my queen of diamonds comes. So let's kill the queen of diamonds also. Nice. Next hand. Uh, getting queens. Op open to 4.4. Cold calls. Cold calls. I just shove versus all these fishes now, as I said. He calls with king six suited. That's why I'm shoving now, because I'm just shoving the value because I wasn't on the maniac table. They're calling everything. He calls king six suited. And he has folding sixes. He's folding sixes. He showed us. He literally has three outs. Never. Give him here. Same thing here. Give him the flush draw just in case. Nice. Next hand. Eights. Opening. Three bets. Calls. He snap. Uh, sorry. He goes. Uh, 40%. I call. He checks, so he's slow playing an ace. This is very rare to see in these stakes. I have a gut shot also. I could start and value bet this actually in high stakes, but... 
I just I just check back. I just take my equity. I get the seven. So I he shouldn't have like the straights, but you know, he's betting big now on this run out when he actually control. No, whatever. I I decided that I heroed. Never good. Let's see. Uh, he has uh, twenty nine big blinds, guys. Open. I shove thirty big blinds. He calls king queen. Just in case, just in case. Give him the top pair and the flush draw again, just in case. Uh, my eight of club comes. Let's kill the eight of clubs. Nice. One out. Lose that too. Nice. Uh, then we have a bit of falls. Uh, yeah, and this is also nice. This is also nice. So blind versus blind. He min opens king jack offsuit. I three bet ace queen off. He calls out a position with king jacks. He's gonna be so dominated with King Jack offsuit. It's insane. This is literally insane. If I have Queens, if I have Jacks plus here, he's dead. If I I have King Queen, I have Ace Queen, I have Ace King, I have Ace Jack. You know, he's no. Get the King board. Check, check. They give me the <laughs> and he takes the passive route and checks. I bet for value. I block top uh, second pair top kicker. Check. He just calls. Get the perfect clean, of course. That I think he has like eights and sevens and tens and stuff. <laughs> I open action. I bet small again. He just calls, of course, top pair. Nice. Ace the Spoker says, uh, "Ref, uh, the fact you're not bluffing, they're not bluffing at all. It's great thing for you. Of course, it's great. I'm gonna come to that soon. I'm gonna read your thing first uh, for you and makes poker very easy. If you fold every hand when they bluff, 20% of the time you're winning and capitalize on your val." value obviously cool has happened but stop giving them value yeah man it, uh, the problem is not i'm giving them value i hope you you see that ace of poker i hope you see that i'm aware of this i'm saying it all the time they never bluff i overfold i don't know how many two pairs and top pairs i folded today too o on the turn on the turn I showed a top pair fold on the turn like four times. I'm over folding so insane because they don't double barrel three quarters, three quarters with a bluff. They only do it with value. I'm folding premium hands so often when they take the strongest line. I'm folding so much value. I never give them value, but sometimes when on the king four queen with flush draw, I get king four and he shoves. Should I fold there also with the draws and we he can have aces and ace king playing like that and king queen and just random flash draws Am I giving them value here you think is this giving them value Look at this Look at this this is since I Sunday I'm winning 11 big blinds per 100. I'm running four and a half buy-ins under EV. It's not hard. I'm saying what they have every hand. You know I hear a fold a lot on River when I know I'm beat. This is not the problem. It's, it's just so boring poker. Of course I'm gonna cry. I can stay here forever and, and always be printing, of course. But I don't want to stay and play this kind of poker on 25 and L uh, just to exploit those, those stuff. I, I think I've proved my points also with how you can beat 25 and L on GG Poker, right? Sorry, of course this is wrong. I'm run, running over V, but uh, let's see the, the the graph from the first. I thought it was the lifetime graph. Yeah, so this is since January. This is this month. So I'm running four buy-ins under V. So here we were destroying for like 14, 13 or 14 big blinds per 100. Then we ran 7 or 6 binds under EV versus Valzao here in 4 hours. Couldn't win one hand. And he was showing insane bluffs over bets 2 times spot. Whatever, we climbed our way back, we climbed our way back, we climbed our way back, but you know. Coolers, of course they happen, of course they happen. Of course coolers happen. Of course they happen. It's not that, but when you play 25 and L on here, as I said, and then uh, 
then you can't win with tens uh, versus queen deuce. You can't win the hand after with top pair jack versus the same guy with the flush draw. Then, uh, you know, it's okay. So, what we're gonna do anyway. What we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna take a break from GG. I, I, I don't know. I wanna play real poker because I get seriously mentally ill from playing 25 and L on GG. It's so insane that they never bluff. It's so boring. It's so boring. We're just cooling each other, the big pots. So, uh, we're gonna play on 88 poker next time. We're gonna play snap poker, so that's the equivalent of Russian cash. Uh, or zoom poker on uh, on Pokestars. Uh, we're gonna see if I play two, three or four tables. So I'm gonna try the site out myself first. Uh, and see if they can use certain keybinds, etc. And what's, what's best. Uh... So we're gonna start there probably just with 25 and L like we're doing here and just try and play really good poker and see if we can play a bit more GTO based poker and start to bluff catch a little bit uh, and play real poker so we can actually start and go up and beat the real the real stakes you know playing real poker um, so we're gonna see also the rake back so the week is done the rake back for this week is uh, here where is it? Platinum. So we played for... The rake pack is gonna be 18 and a half dollars. Uh, so let's look at the bankroll. Today we lost... In value, my currency. We lost uh, 43 dollars. So the bankroll is gonna be somewhere around minus 20 dollars so probably around 30 1368 dollars something like that after rake back and, and stuff uh i'm gonna take mondays off as usual we're gonna play on tuesday we're gonna play on 8 date poker we're gonna play as fast fold poker and try that format out on 8 date poker and see what's up uh else we maybe gonna start on 50 and l also on 88 so maybe we're gonna start with 50 and l maybe even 100 and l we're gonna see but we're gonna try the site out and the Binds and everything out on uh, 25 and L, and then we take it from there, uh, and maybe we start the session af after uh, at 50 and L. Anyway, of course you're gonna have this session. It's not the session; it's the problem. Do you think I care? I'm, I'm sitting here caring about the 42 dollars up or down. You know, I'm not caring about today's 42 dollars up or down. Even if I didn't know if I was up or down, I thought I was break even. Actually, if I if I was gonna take a guess, so I'm was gonna. I'm talking about the same things. Even if I, if I won like two binds, I would talk about the same things. It's so boring. You don't evolve like a, as a poker player here on 25 and L on GG. You can't bluff catch. Uh, yeah, you can stay here forever and like uh, capitalize, of course, as you see. Uh, the only way they can win is when they run good against you like this. Uh, so when I have, uh, when I lose like 11 short stack all ins versus the, the random hands, I'm only losing 1.7 buy-ins, guys. Think about it, though. Think about it. Whatever. So that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching this episode. Also, uh, gonna have tomorrow off. Uh, we're gonna play probably around three o'clock my time on Tuesday. Uh, and here is my time right now. It's 6:30. So look at your clock, and you'll know the difference. Thank you so much. Thank you for the new subscriptions, new followers, and see you back on Tuesday. Have a nice end of the week and have a nice Sunday. And thank you again. Ciao.